Welcome. No more bants there, guys. We're live, okay? Just what? Oh. radio silence. Don't believe him. We were completely <laughs> quiet. What are you talking about? I hope everybody's doing well. Um, welcome, friends. We are playing a game of Dungeons and Dragons, and I'm your Dungeon Master, Ben. With me tonight, um, so far, I have Bodie as Reynold. Hi. I can actually do things in this fight for once. And Chris as Picrol Nicolo. I have bears. <laughs> and Davis as Bezlock. Uh, just so short today. So short. And tonight we are telling a story but we do not yet know how it will go the players the dungeon master the dice all of these will have a hand in how the game unfolds this is the hero's era does it got a bunch of turbos beautiful um <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> you, Good job, guys. <laughs> you might need them here. Um, when we left off, we were in the middle of combat. You all have gone back into um, this uh, demi plane to seek out and hopefully kill the devil you can. Mordecai seeks the rod of the Pact Keeper. Uh, and also, Wyman is in some way. Um, you know, subservient to this devil. And you actually found Wyman on your way here. And he is seemingly living in his own uh, reality. He warned that he probably should not join you for fear of being turned against you by the spell uh, or whatever curse may be cast upon him by this devil. But we left off in the middle of combat. So um, we will just jump right back to it and i think joel will be joining us here shortly as well um we'll see and um so when we last left off um reynold had taken a turn and the uh devil you can had come up to p crawl and attacked with his ice spear Mm -hmm. and um, Yakan begins backing slowly uh, towards the palace of the frozen duke and you so can make an opportunity a, okay. you can make an opportunity Perfect. attack <laughs> as you stand on the ice wall above him I don't, I don't, don't, don't run off don't run off come here 18 Uh, an 18 will hit. Okay. Good, Good to know. I was scared he was going to say miss for a second. I know. <laughs> All right. Um, and I had, uh, right at the end of the last uh, session, when he attacked me, I had cast Absorb Elements and took in some of that, that cold damage from him. I see that. Okay. So I'm going to spit it back out. I don't know what it's going to do to him. It probably won't even do anything to him or not much, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, we are. Okay, so it's uh, 16 points of slashing damage plus uh, 4 points of cold damage. Okay, very good. Good damage. Wait, why is that? Is that right? Oh yeah, because I get the plus. Okay, yeah, that is right. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> And below you on the other side of the wall, Brahms continues to fight uh, the demon uh, swinging his, his hammer at the creature. <laughs> hammer misses and just takes a chunk out of the ice wall. And uh, I do then have Mordecai, who is on the other side of the wall, um, begins to levitate uh, over the battlefield here getting a look at uh, what the group of you are doing. Ben, real quick, I'm sorry. Um, that was actually only supposed to be 14 points. I just realized I had okay. something on, on my on that wrong. So Instead of, what, 18? 
In instead, instead of the 16 slashing, it should have just Thank been you. 14 slashing. The cold damage was right. But. Thank you. You took the armor infusion or the plus two weapon infusion? I already have a plus two weapon. Oh, okay. You're good then. Yeah. yeah. But that's and why I had it in there wrong, so it was doing plus two, plus two. So it's... P. Crawl. <clears throat> now it is your turn. Now it is my turn. Okay. <clears throat> okay, well, I'm going to, um, after taking that pretty solid hit from this guy, um, No, um, yeah, no, they got that one under control. I'm going to um, kind of glance over my shoulder at my buddies on the other side of the wall here with this other, uh, what's left of this guy. I figure they pretty much got him under control. And I'm going to, um, there we go, okay. I'm going to um, start some incantations, and I'm going to recast Conjure Animals. So it's going to um, dismiss the bears over on this side. Okay. Um, but I'm going to see this this big old devil over here. And I'm like, okay, you're a bit of a big fella. All right. And I'm going to um, pull those bears down through, and they're going to reemerge as two dire wolves Ooh. flanking him on either side. That's a challenge one. That's a challenge one, so I can yeah, have two. Yeah, I remember that. And um, I think for my um, so yeah, I'm gonna cast that. That's my action, and then I'm gonna go ahead and hop down off of the wall. No, I'm going to stay on the wall. I'm just going to move over to the end over here. Okay. And you should have control of these dire wolves. All right, perfect. Yeah, it looks like I do. Okay. And then for the dire wolves, they are going to... Let me pull it up here. I'm going to have so many like characters in this thing by the time this is done. Okay. Um... Yeah, we're going to go for a bite. Can't you see this devil's trying to escape? Well, that doesn't mean I have to make it easy for him. <laughs> it's going to be a 23 to hit. That will hit. Okay. So he will take um, nine points of piercing damage, and he has to uh, make a DC 13 strength saving throw. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll do 21. it. 21. Okay. So then the next one is also going to attack. Um, that's a crit because they have advantage because of pack tactics. Yeah. Very good. So that. Oh, nice. Okay. That's Ooh. 17 points of piercing damage and another strength save. A 15. Oh, that makes it. Yep. Okay. Um, and. They're gonna stay. They're gonna stay right on them. Um, they for their bonus action, they will they will growl intimidatingly. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and uh, on the other side of the wall, the uh, grotesque demon uh, with its putrid stench swings at the metallic bear. Uh, it's not claw bad, mate. Clawing at it twice. <laughs> 11 misses. Uh, 22. 22 hits. <laughs> if that bear's got a 22 AC. <laughs> no, no. 13 damage bear. to Boo Boo. Boo Boo I, 2. I got it. 2. <laughs> and the uh, demon turns to Reynold and uh, goes to bite. No, leave me alone. Uh, will a 16 hit? No, you listen. Uh, before his head can get close to you, you just deflect it. And uh, next is Bezlock. All right, Bezlock uh, still has a spider climb going through uh, 
from from earlier and so he but it's on boo boo so that concentration has been you know good uh he jumps on boo boo's back for his action and then uses uh okay so if i climb the wall and i'm still like i'm right here will i incur an opportunity attack uh no it looks like you could still yeah no you wouldn't leave the okay. range that he threatens all right, so I please move Boo Boo and Bezlock up there, and Boo Boo will then. Well, do you, would I have had to use my action to mount Boo Boo? Were you already on Boo Boo? No, we were we were fighting separately. Yeah, you will need to. Okay, cool, no big deal. All right, so then okay. Boo Boo will uh, attack. Actually, nope, he's going to repair. He's going to use repair and heal for 2d8 plus 4, so plus 8. All right, and that ends my turn. Okay. And do you have the ability to uh, move Boo Boo too? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I did. That was it. my bonus action is what moves Boo Boo. No, I'm sorry. I meant uh, to move the token. Oh, you oh, probably needed yeah. me to move it because it was off of your vision? I see. Yeah. Okay. I did. Well, my token disappeared. I got him under Boo Boo. Oh, there we go. For some reason I can't. Let's see. Oh, there we go. We'll just move him there. Will that be all? That's it. Then Reynold. Is this fellow looking hurt, or is he still got fight? Um, the other one turned into a coward and fled when things weren't going its way, but this one is, seems to still be ready to fight. All right, I'm gonna start swinging into him. Then I'm gonna throw one hammer at him. Uh, that's a 10. Miss. Yeah, I figured. And as a bonus action, I'm going to use War Priest to swing again. Uh, that'll be a 23. Hits. Okay, then that'll be 14 bludgeoning. Okay. That'll be, uh, that'll be it. Saving my spell slots for now. For the big guy. And uh, you can winks out of sight. And uh, perhaps Bezlock, you can see into the Temple of the Frozen Duke. Uh, you can re reappears, uh, perhaps twenty feet in or so. All right. And then you see him move deeper into the temple. <laughs> Better run. What is that? You see... Oh, the f oh I know who those are. Approaching the, the entrance of the temple, uh, two skeletal warriors, they approach the dire wolves. And they will make their attacks. Let's see. Bring it on. Yeah, AC 14. So that will hit. 22. For 16 damage. Um, on, on this one? Uh, to the uh, to the right. Or, I'm sorry. This one? Yes, from the one on the right. This one, okay. So I'm sorry, to yours... Uh, 
on the left there. And they're, the, they're right. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Uh, 23? No. Uh, 23 will also hit, yeah. And for 13 more damage. Okay, same one. And the blade comes in again quickly a third time. Uh, 17. 17 will also hit. For 15 damage. All right, that one's out. Okay. And he just, the... he just, like a, as, as the last hit, it just puffs away like a magical mist. And um, the skeletal knight raises his shield and uh, stands poised, ready to strike. Brahms continues to fight against the demon. Wow, okay. Um, Brahms will not hit. Again. Um, again. <laughs> I don't think he's up this, made contact yet. Piecing up this wall, though. <laughs> um, Mordecai, I guess I should start playing Mordecai. Uh, does somebody else want to take control of uh, Mordecai? Bodhi's the only one I would... <laughs> that makes I sense got, I got, I got wolves and stuff going on over here, so... <laughs> Let Bodhi have them. I'm going to give you control of uh, Mordecai. Uh, Eldritch Blast is, you know, his typical default, and then... Uh, yes. Yeah. Give the Warlock to the person who's played Warlock once. <laughs> I saw a plan that I will carry out. Just, yeah. Eldritch Blast, everything, and then Fireball, anything if there's none of us nearby. Boom. That's all you need to know. Okay. Um... I don't suppose I'll have access to his... Oh, I do. Uh, you should have time, access now, yeah. Time to look at all his secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, read his backstory. <laughs> Quick, give me all his gold. Read it out loud. Read it out loud. All right, first of all, I need to figure out how many spell slots I can cast or what they're cast at because I have no I, no clue. Um, what's your highest level spell slot you have right now? Uh, he It's at fifth level or sixth. Yeah, it is a sixth. Yeah. Okay. Well, his regular spells are cast at fifth level. Then he should have like one sixth level spell that he gets once a day. Okay, so fifth level for all these. I don't know how many of those fifth levels I get. I know it's a very small number. He only has. He should only have two spell slots. I don't remember if he has used any or not. Okay. Mm, well, no, regard at, at level ten, it's four. I thought. All right. Pretty well, sure. I'm gonna. Warlocks never get up to four, except for like maybe at level twenty. <laughs> I'm going to just use Eldritch Blast to keep this short and simple. Okay. Uh, he's going to levitate to peek over the ice wall very briefly, and then it is going to uh, have either of these uh, skeletons been hurt. No, they just got there. Okay, so I'm just going to choose the one on the right, the far right most, and I'm going to shoot Eldritch right. Blast at him three times. There we go. So that's a 22, an 11, and 23. 22, 23 hit. Okay, so we're going to do uh, 17 force damage. is going to push him back 20 feet. And then he is going to move... Uh, Mordecai is going to move... Uh, he's going to move over a couple of squares just to get a bit closer, but not entirely... You know, far away from anyone else, and then he's levitating, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I imagine he can shimmy across the ice wall, grabbing the top of it if he needs be. Kind of like when you're in a pool and you're and you have the edge, you know, similar effect. Absolutely, like Spider-Man crawl. <laughs> yeah, so he's just gonna Spider-Man crawl over a couple of feet. Okay, and then and it'll be his turn. Next is Nicolo. Oh, you gotta move his token though. I can. I don't. Okay. Have, oh, I can. <clears throat> Do you have the character? I am gonna go. go. I can't move him off of this wall. Uh, I can't. I can't get past the wall. You can't get and past the wall. Um, I. I also can't. It's like there's a I wall thought, there. I thought you can move past those barriers. Uh, which way? Um, does Mordecai I I want to go? I, I think we're both trying to get to this side. Yeah. Yeah. So he's gonna stay on the other side. Yeah. And I'll just okay. move him to, to okay. where he wants to be. No. Okay, perfect. So that was 5, 10, 
15, 25, 30, 35. Uh, I still can't quite see. What's his name? Yeah. And these things hit hard AF, dude. I know they do. That's all right. Do you have dark vision? Hmm? Uh, yes, I do. What is it? Uh, what should it be set to? I might not have all the uh, tokens set, right? I think it's 60 feet. 60 feet. It's, it's whatever the goggles of night give you, because that's, that's okay. what I have. I don't. I don't technically have dark vision. Okay, I adjusted it uh, so you feet, should yeah. have sixty feet now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Okay, I'm going to. Um, yeah, I'm going to get to right there. And then I'm going to 10, 50. Yeah, I'm going to get right there with my blade up, and then I'm going to cast Misty Step. 5, 10, 15. 15. Give me 20 feet. Get me up to here. That's it, though. I'm out of movement. Crap. Um <laughs> no, here's what I'm going to do instead. Here's what I'm going to do instead. I'm going to misty. I'm going to get to here, and then five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I got it. I'm going to get to here. I'm going to teleport. Use my little teleport ability that I have to get that ten feet teleportation. Then I'm going to take an attack at at this guy right in front of me. That's what I'm going to do first. Okay. Um, so I'll take that swing. This is this is what I built this guy to do right now. So I just had to figure out how I do. So that's a twenty nine to hit for hits. that. I'm I'm assuming that hits. Let me take my absorb elements off of there. That hits everything. Okay. Uh, that's going to be a fourteen. Ooh, max okay. damage on that. And then um, after that attack, I'm going to. Um, then I'm going to. Misty step with my bonus action to here. As soon as I land there, I'm going to again teleport before my attack the 10 feet to in front of this guy. And oh, this isn't going to work either. Crap. It's too late. I've already, I've already done this much. I can't, I can't, I can't go back on now. Um, <laughs> You'll get close. And I'm going to attack that one for a 19 hits okay damn 13 points of slashing the dice That's are hot right. today oh wait no i still have 10 feet of movement because you hit two i i used the teleport earlier so i can't so i'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go for this. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm going to use that ten feet. I'm gonna. I'm gonna back up ten feet. I'll take the uh, uh, opportunity attack. It's fine. And then I'm going to, since I've attacked two separate creatures, I get a third attack with a third teleport. Miss. That's a miss. Nice. So I'm gonna teleport ten feet right back up to him, and I'm gonna take my 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 extra attack on. Um, on uh, God, why I can't remember. I don't know why I can't remember his name. You can. Yeah, man, you can. You can. Sorry. That's all right. You can. Can I hit him? Yeah, you can. You can. Twenty-two to hit oh for another thirteen points of slashing damage. As I as, and as I as I as I pop back in and I sling, I go, "Oi, where are you going?" <laughs> and then Very good. that will be. That will be his turn. I knew I, I built this guy to go anywhere. So, I, <laughs> as you uh, go deeper into the temple, you see a chain devil therein um, seems to be uh, tending to one of the iced uh, 
you know the um, large stones with the skeleton changed to it, uh, chained to it, just ensconced in ice. Mm-hmm. And uh, this chain devil seems to be tending to that in some fashion. Okay. Okay. I don't think ensconced is, that... is the word that I was looking for. <laughs> I mean. The skeleton could be ensconced. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's going to be it for P. Crawl's turn. Okay. And then my, my last surviving dire wolf is going to charge right up here and just, just square up against uh, against this guy. Okay. Give him a good bite attack. He does not have advantage because it's only him there, so that's going to miss probably. Yep. So 11, I don't think it's going to hit. <laughs> an armored skeleton no so so that'll be his turn um but um actually what what we'll do is it'll use the rest of its movement to kind of work its way around the other side and just kind of square it up there and that will be it for the dire wolf very good ensconced to firmly place or hide yeah Okay. That's what uh, sure. the, Why not? the skeleton could be ensconced in ice. Yeah, that's what we got. Yeah, uh, hey man, your world, your grammar. Yeah, <laughs> Picrol, next to you, you've been so brave to approach Yakan, and he continues twirling his spear, and uh, will st- try to strike at you with his ice spear. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. Why? Oof. Don't go after him. Eh, that hits. Oh, nice crit. Don't okay, that doesn't miss, does it? Oops. <laughs> That's all right. That should be coming. Even the bot is like, oh, it's not. But fine, it's fine. No, no, it's not. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I'm there. gonna, I'm gonna absorb elements on the cold damage. Okay. Um, Ouch. So that's. <laughs> Okay, 22 so half. So that's half. So that's 11. So okay, so it's still 39 points. I mean, it's still a good hit. <gasps> for, it's still a pretty good crit. And the devil's that's tail okay. whips around at you, striking again. Okay. Oh, come on, Ben. Stop, oh. Ben. Stop. Hey, Stop. Hey, another crit. Oh, my goodness. What okay, are we doing so may, here? May, uh, maybe also, it's not okay. Will you make it your constitution okay. saving throw also um, for <laughs> the may, uh, ice spear? Please. Oh, I thought it wasn't uh, going to matter. Okay, 16, 16 success. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you have to be half. So. <laughs> okay. Um, 26 bludgeoning and 25 cold damage. Yeah, unconscious. Even with the resistance to cold? Uh, I'm noticing yeah. a pattern the, here. The, 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 the bludgeoning damage alone was enough to knock him out. Okay. Wow. Here's the thing. If you hadn't rolled double crits, I would have been fine. And I have... I can literally go into the ethereal plane. I had a get-out-of-jail-free card. I just need to not die in one round, man. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Okay, um, Joel right. is talking. logged into the chat, so I'm going to bring him on board and get our uh, images aligned here. Hey, that dire that dire wolf's gone now too. I'm going to get rid of it. Wyman's still kind of alive. Hey, Joel, welcome. Hi, Joel. It's bad. Seems great. What are you talking about? I just got here. Uh, Chris just got double critted and went down and around. Okay, but in my defense, I had a really cool round before I went out. Like, Look now. <laughs> it was something. It was we're, really cool. It was we're running cool. Out of um, character ideas. Unfortunately, it's kind of similar though, to yeah. Wyman's tactic. It wasn't, though. <laughs> it was a lot <laughs> flashier. But you ran <laughs> up with nobody happened. there and then got smacked. <laughs> Chris is <laughs> really like, happened. I'm going to do it different this time. I'm going to have a get. I'm a way to get out of here. You still have the first part of the problem. You're further than surviving 60 feet to get from out. your nearest teammate, dude. He's got one move. 
I'm not even gonna like I have to still I have to like find a way to heal you now. Here's here's the thing, I feel like Jules did the same thing. But he was just lucky. <laughs> like with every roll. I could have I could have shifted in I, if I if I was like in a bad spot, even mm -hmm. though I was far enough away, I could I can bonus action hop into the ethereal plane, go wherever I need to go, be fine, you know. Ben's over here. You know, yeah, the you dice know what? I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Um, he shouldn't have had. <laughs> <laughs> he shouldn't have had a tail attack because this is um, his spot and initiative where he can use um, legendary actions. So that's actually my mistake. Um, oh, so the tail okay. shouldn't have happened. So take off that that last don't massive amount pedal. of damage. Okay. Don't, don't you backpedal, we're good, Ben? Baby, no, we're good. <laughs> no, if you no, look no, no, to we're, where we're, he's uh, in uh, initiative, his full turn is on uh, Reynolds' turn. So, my apologies. Um, uh, then my uh, next turn, got it. Brahms and the demon continue doing battle outside uh, the wall. Reynolds, you're still here, uh, fighting against this Hezerau demon. Come on, Brahms. Just two beefy guys. We can get him. <laughs> and this thing is going to turn to you and uh, try to claw you. No! Uh, ten. And a Stop. nine. And then its massive maw comes in again. Please. A trick okay, it's hey, tried uh, before. Use, Boo Boo uses his thing for disadvantage. Oh, my crit. Oh. Enough of that shit. Yeah. Will you put that ability in the chat, my friend? I will be happy to. Reynolds' like best defense so far in this fight has just been asking them not to hit him, pleadingly, <laughs> and it's worked. Stick, stick with whatever works, man. <laughs> there you go. Okay, that's Do my. You need reaction, to declare though. that before I. Is it a reaction? It is a reaction. Oh, thank you, sir. Yep. Um. Dang, took away another crit there. All right. Uh, Thank you. Literal I job. appreciate <laughs> my literal job, guys. Hey, Bezlock, you're next. You're All on right. top of that wall. Well, I mean, you still hit with a 24. <laughs> you can still smack him. Oh, thank damage. you. Appreciate <laughs> yeah. that. You just didn't, I mean, he's just didn't still... get a crit. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, so crestfallen. <laughs> Sorry, Bodie. <laughs> oh, still <laughs> some good damage. Okay. Yeah. It's still uh, wait, right. is, that, is that the crit damage or is that... Mm, that 17. would be the crit damage. So just take the first roll, the seventeen. Yeah. All yeah. right. You know. Okay. Uh, still so good. Be Bezlock can uh, since Bezlock is attacking from above. Can he have advantage on his on his attack rolls? Yeah. But, um, can we not have in advantage? this scenario. Uh, um, we, can we have advantage on everything, Ben? Um, you gotta <laughs> ask. You know. Doesn't doesn't look don't the gods like us, Ben? We'll find out. All right, I swing hit. twice. It's 11 points of damage. Um, okay. And then I use... So I... Oh, let me... I got to read this real quick. Uh, let me put it in the chat. You learn Thank new you. ways to channel your energy within 30 feet of you. Okay, it has to be within 30 feet. Okay. Um, so I'm going to use an arcane jolt uh, and heal myself for 2d6. Okay. And then I will use my bonus action, and Boo Boo will attack as well. With if I can bring up his sheet, there it is. For uh, with force and power rend. There you go. All right, he misses. And that's it. That's the uh, that's the end of my turn. Okay. Very good. And then you can does stand here before Nicolo and his tail whips out. Uh, 14 to yes. hit. And then Reynold, it is your turn. Okay. Uh, if I were to move to the top of this wall, much like Bezluck has, will I still be able to strike down at him? Yes. Okay. Uh, I do have 25 feet of movement. And I don't have anything like spider walk. Um, will it just take my movement or some other thing to get up on that wall? 
Uh, this wall is very slick and cold, so um, you can try to make an athletics check to scale it. We haven't always been successful in scaling these walls. Okay. And this isn't my action. This is just me attempting Part of to... your movement. Okay. Well, uh, despite being a beefy boy, uh, I don't have much athletics. I have a 14. Okay, you're able to uh, climb up the wall, you know, just basically moving at half speed. Okay, so I get up there. And then I'm just going to start striking down with uh, Bezlock. Uh, just try and kill this thing so we can move on. Uh, yeah. I'm going to gonna swing uh, once for a 13. Uh, miss. Yeah. And then a bonus action, War Priest. I swing again for 15. Uh, miss. Okay. Well, very good. Um, I cannot move myself on top of that wall. But I am there. And that will be my turn. Okay. Hey, guys. Uh, be great wow. if our Minotaur did a single point of damage. <laughs> he's <laughs> he's having fun. Prompts has just been uh, having no luck at all. Um, but now it's Yakan's turn. What about Mordecai? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Oh, okay. I'm sorry. We had picked it up with P. Crawl when Mordecai arrived, and I think you had gone before with an Eldritch Blast? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Joel, I played your character, and I used uh, all your spell slots in one turn. It was incredible, and you have nothing left now. Uh, yeah, he but... plane shifted all your items? I don't know. It was weird. <laughs> yeah, I, I decide we don't need any of this. You got magic. You're fine. <laughs> It was just slowing me down anyway. I definitely don't have all your gold. Yeah. The answer the answer is clearly Elder Class, so <laughs> That's that's what I did. So in your spirit. And the devil spins his blade trying to summon uh his ice magic it's unsuccessful. Um, but will take his spear and try to strike uh Nicolo. Uh, 25. Miss. No, nah, it's, it's real hard. <laughs> uh, nine piercing and 14 cold damage. Cool. Cool. All right. Cool. Do you still Do have it? absorb elements? Cause you didn't go yet. Um, it's just until the start of your next turn. Oh yeah. So I guess I would still be resistant to the, that cold. Yep, very it's good. Until the start of your next turn. Okay, cool. So that's only sixteen points of damage, which means I am not unconscious. Okay, you're welcome. And <laughs> you can just turns and heaves his massive tail against you, uh, trying to knock you unconscious here. Uh, Fourteen <laughs> misses. Wow, <laughs> what a <laughs> low roll! Not so today. lucky. <laughs> Get out of there. <laughs> and the. Uh, skeletal warrior that has been blasted back into the temple uh, ambles forward and uh, puts up a guard here um, they both have their swords oh. and shields drawn uh, ready to strike um, and actually uh, forgive me one moment Um, the one that has moved up to the entrance actually uh, sheathes its sword uh, and quickly is wielding uh, throwing axes. And it will throw um, three of these at Mordecai. Uh, Fourteen. Uh, anything above thirteen is going to hit. Uh oh. A ten armors. Yeah. And a 14. My, okay, so two I, hits. Yeah. Just one hit. Wait, oh, two hits. Uh, how much damage is that? The first will deal nine. The next will deal 11 damage. Okay. Wow, you got lucky on that damage. Really did. 9, 11, so 20? Yes. Very good. And... 
Brahms raises his hammer, swinging it at the the demon here, hoping to crush it. You got Let's this. Go, bro. Let's go. Brahms, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Isn't he like a general? Like, doesn't he get a double attack or something? Jeez. <sighs> what in the world was happening, Brahms? <laughs> Um, Brahms's hammer just caves in the wall of ice, uh, missing this demon again. Mordecai, it's your turn. You can act. <laughs> you have levitate. Active. Okay. Uh, do I have any actual spells? I, I don't do. know, man. Yeah, you, you should have all of your uh, spell resources available. I narrated that you cast a, or there was an explosion of fire from uh, your direction, but I don't want to take the uh, fireball from you, so you can act as you please. More thematic. <laughs> uh, in that case, do I see Yakan and how hurt does he look? Can you see him on your uh, mini map here? Uh, uh, I don't know. Oh, yes, I can. Yes. Uh, how hurt does he look from my position? Um, it's ready to fight. Absolutely. He's, you know, there was a brief battle out front and then he retreated, um, was mauled by some dire wolves, but then made it inside the temple, um, and was struck by P crawl. So he's definitely been in combat, but, uh, yeah. Um, how far is he from me? Well, I think you have to move to, to see him. I don't think you have sight line of sight on him. Okay. In that case, I'm going to move. Uh, are these two in, in between us uh, enemies? Or uh, yes, people? and they are blocking the way, the entrance to the temple. And I do have you levitating right now. Okay. In that case, uh, if I see them together, uh, do they look hurt at all or do they look fresh? The one on the right has been hurt a bit. Okay. <coughs> um. Yeah, so I suppose yeah. one of your uh, spell slots should be used for the levitate spell. But other than that, you should be good to go. Uh, no, it's, I have it. it it's at will. It at will. He's got the invocation. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where's all the warlock haters out there now, huh? <laughs> Yeah, I read your I read your character sheet, Joel. There's not a lot on there. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's so empty. I'm sorry. It's pretty barren. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go. Okay. I think I have something. Um, I'm gonna cast. You guys are there. It looks like you guys got that one. So I'm gonna come in over here and try to help. Um, I'm going to cast, I'm going to step over the ice wall if I can using levitate. Yes. <clears throat> and once I do, I want to come here and I want to use fear. Okay. Uh, and a cone. Uh, I believe it's a 30-foot cone, so I don't think I can hit Yakan with it, even if I am in melee with that, correct? Sec, guys. Right, okay. And I'm sorry, is this a wisdom save? Uh, one second. Let me press it. <clears throat> uh... You project a phantasmal image of the creature's worst nightmare. Each creature in a 30-foot cone must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or drop whatever they're holding and become frightened uh, while frightened of this spell. A creature must take the dash action and move away from you by the safest available route on each of its turns, unless there's nowhere to move. The creature ends its turn in a location where it doesn't have line of sight of you. The creature can make a wisdom saving throw. On a successful save, the spell ends. So, that would be a wisdom saving throw. Thanks. I'm sorry. All my wi windows closed. I'm trying to get the get things situated. 
Um, and it if safe for both. And I believe Yakan is too far away from me, right? Yes, and so the nine will fail. That one. In that case, I'm going to go ahead and use... Uh, I believe I have a blessing uh, that allows me to force a reroll. Oh, you do? That's right. Nice. Run away, little girl. A 16. That will fail. Dash okay. action, huh? Well done, well done. And, and please do keep in mind that they don't get another save until they're able to get full cover from me. And you're hovering. And they, and they must use their action every turn uh, to dash away from me. Okay. Oh. Will that be all from Mordecai? Uh, I'm just going to use the rest of my movement to levitate as high as I can. All right. And the devil you can uh, continues spinning his spear. Um, and you see um, across the temple uh, the chain devil um, casting magic upon one of these warriors that is bound to the stone and the chains come uh, unclasped and the warrior stumbles forward uh, as of yet unmoving. Epicrawl, Nicolo, you're next. <clears throat> okay. The first thing that Epicrawl is going to do <laughs> is he is going to cast Cure Wounds on himself at third level. So these dice have been hot all day. Let's keep going. Not bad. Yeah. All right. All right. I'll take that. So that's 12, so that's 15, 15 points of damage, or 15 points of healing well, back to me. I'll take it. Um, and then, so that's my action, right? Yes, okay. So he's going to um, very quickly just, um, you know, sort of pull some herbs out of, out of his pouch and smush them up and, and press them into the, the, the massive open wounds on him. Um, st stopping up the uh, the black blood that is seeping out of him right now, <clears throat> and he's gonna look up at you can, and he's gonna go and disappear. <laughs> I'm going to use nature's veil to turn him visible, and I'm going to run away, but <laughs> ah. I'm going to hide over here. Go hide. So, um, and that is going to be my action. Or that is going to be my turn. <laughs> okay. And Yakan swings his spear uh, as you disappear, but uh, doesn't seem to find any kind of target. Okay. And then, um, well, no, never mind. That was it. Yep, that's it. And you remain invisible, is that right? I'm invisible until the start of my next, or until the... Yeah, start of your next turn. Until the start of my next turn, yeah. Okay. And this uh, Hezrau beast, as you have all scaled the wall uh, behind it, it turns its efforts... Uh, towards Brahms, the Minotaur. And Brahms suffers a, a large talon 
uh, and then responds with his war hammer, <clears throat> focusing this time. Fucking uh, hoping to on, um. He does. Yay! Hey. Kill this thing so we can leave. And he gets the effective power of a smite spell from all this frustration <laughs> and every missed attack. I'm about to do a plus five for it. My apologies. So, okay. I'm just going to roll the uh, blinding smite and then deal average damage. Uh, oh, I was strike. joking. Se Seventeen and se okay. So, bronze will deal thirty-four damage uh, total here. Nice. And after Brahms is Mordecai. Oh my god, it's still alive. It is. This creature looks badly injured and uh, kind of begins to cower and be looking to back away, um, holding its arms in defense. Uh, perfect. In that case, uh, I've got one target on my mind, and it's the Devil Yakan. So I am going to go ahead and use my strongest spell, which is clearly Eldritch Blast. Of course, of course, of course. So you're, so you're going to say <laughs> something fun for a second. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Although we are joking, but it is a pretty powerful spell, oh, as we can see. Oh. I mean, it's... It's it's a D10 it's, can't it's okay. get the multi attack. So yeah, it's it's all right. It's twenty six a crit, a twenty two. All of them hit. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I always saw the joke going around in, in D and D where you sell your soul for a cantrip. I understand now. Yeah, it's a hell of a cantrip. <laughs> it's not like you sold your soul for you know friends. <laughs> You just get those passively. Yeah. 17, 15, and 8. Well, one of those should be a crit. Oh, the yeah. first one. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 I saw it. Yep. Nice. And he's also pushed uh, 30 feet back. Gets knocked into this, probably. And uh, I'm going to scream Come to me! I can save you! Towards uh, Piccolo. That's his name, right? <laughs> Piccolo. <laughs> the crawl Niccolo. He, and he I, is, you know what? He is green. I will say this. Listen, he is green. You're right. And his name is an amalgamation. His name is an amalgamation of two fictional characters from two different universes. Piccolo is one of those characters. See, you can't blame me. <laughs> Dragon Ball Z Piccolo. Mm hmm. Yeah, because he is. He's a he's this he's a tall green dude. That's what know, I think. So he's yeah. I don't know any other Piccolo. You can begin summoning uh, dark energies, chanting, and you see on the other side of the frozen temple this new skeletal warrior uh, who's been birthed from this uh, frozen resting place rises, and his head quickly snaps across the hallway, uh, looking at you. Nicolo. Can't, can, can you see me? Because I'm invisible. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Get tricked. Ah. I felt like I was on a roll there with that delivery. Um, you got punked. It's it head whips towards the entry. <laughs> Much less climactic. Um, okay. And um, from outside, you hear uh, a familiar song that you've heard recently, a song of victory, uh, one that was played by Wyman's company. And those of you who are standing on top of the ice wall uh, can see just a uh, what looks like um, trees shrouded in dense fog and the trees are moving uh they don't seem to be moving themselves almost like new trees sprout uh quickly and quickly 
uh, nearer to you, um, you know, as if this person's surroundings are changing, uh, you know, ever rapidly. And uh, sure enough, you see the crest of Wyman on a flag, uh, you know, raised within the trees and Wyman's company perhaps is marching towards you. Um, and so that would be Bezlock and Reynold uh, have can see this approaching from the left, from the west. Uh, perhaps, you know, no more than 100 feet away now. Um, you've been engaged in battle and have just now noticed uh, this company approaching. This doesn't feel great to me. Yeah. Because I don't know if he's on our side yet or not. P. Crawl, Nicolo, you're up. Okay. <clears throat> um, all right. Picrawl is going to No, I don't want to do that. Um Uh, is this yeah. the the different colors on the on the floor here? Is this all like this isn't like a wall or anything over here, right? Right. The only um, kind oh. of obstacles in the room are these large statues, and then the exactly. stones with the skeletons, and uh, those are uh, covered in cubes of ice. Yes, all the okay. rest are just different tile work. Uh. could get to him I could feels like a bad idea now I'm going to no I'm gonna be smart I'm gonna do the smart thing I'm gonna do the smart thing I'm gonna do the smart thing I'm gonna cast protection from evil and good on myself um <clears throat> I'm going to pull some, a uh, little bit of powdered silver and iron I have in my pouch and just kind of rub it in my hands and I, like draw a holy symbol on my, um, on my armor. And I'm going to, so that's my action to cast that spell. Then I am going to bonus action. I'm going to use, um, nature's veil a second time to disappear again and this time i'm gonna go 5 10 15 20 25 30 feet right there still invisible invisible again and that will be my turn okay you turn invisible and begin to approach the devil you can again. Um, and on the other side of the ice wall, the uh, demon backs away uh, slowly, carefully, and then flees, turning the corner rapidly. I'll see you again. Defeated, at least for now. Bezlock, the insane. You're up next. You're on top of this ice wall here with Boo Boo Two. I don't get to uh, opportunity attack him on the way out. You know, it seemed to move away very carefully, crouching All down, right. avoiding that. All right. Um, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cast. Uh, let's see, as my action, I'm going to cast Expeditious Retreat. Um, which would allow me to use my bonus action as the dash action. Um, so I am using that as my action. Can you hop Boo Boo and I off the wall, please? Yes, yes. I'm casting that on Boo Boo. And we're going to... We're going to move. These are already feared, right? So they don't get any opportunity attacks. 
Is that correct? Right. Um, you, you, can, are you able to cast that on Boo Boo or only yourself? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Let me look. I think only oh, I guess yourself. It's just, oh, okay, fine. Well, then I'll just hop off Boo Boo. Okay. And I'll use it as my bonus action then. And I'll just leave Boo Boo in the dust. And I'll huff 60. Let me get the measure thing out then. Oh, the skeleton. The skeletons are feared, right? So they can't. Yeah, they they're, got, they're not, they're not going to be able to get me. All right. They got disadvantage. The, they they of, can't do anything except for run and make rolls until they're out of sight of uh, our warlock. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they also drop everything that they're holding, so they wouldn't even have weapons. Oh, that's also true too. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm just going to run up. Uh, using my my full action and dash uh, to get over, and then I'm going to end my turn. Boo Boo will just stay there for this turn. Okay. And uh, Yakan begins uh, chanting, casting magic. And a storm of ice forms above you, Bezlock. Please make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my inspiration to do that with advantage. If that's all right. Yes, you can make the roll and then use the inspiration after if you like also. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'll do. Uh, all right, give me one second. Deck save. My second monitor broke, so I'm doing everything on one. It sucks. Uh, dexterity save. Does a 15 make? Oh, thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, you'll still take uh, half damage. All right. As this uh, hail just pelts you from above. Kill. And the second roll is cold damage, if that applies. Uh, but half from each of them. Okay. Um, so nine damage. Okay. And then, Reynold, you're up. Okay. Well, I don't have this devil to worry about anymore, so I'm going to hop off the wall and then use... If you would, please do that for me. Yes. And I'm going to use the rest of my movement to move up. 5, 10, 15, 20. Um, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to move over. Uh, no, I'm good where I'm at. Uh, and then, do I have line of sight on you can currently? Um, what is your dark vision? Uh, uh, you I, got, I got some... A lot. <laughs> okay. I got sixty foot. You know, not the worst. Sorry, I was looking something else up as well. Um, no, if you can't see, you can from your token that you cannot see him, and I'll fix your vision so it's set to sixty feet here. Okay. Then, in that case, well, I can't cast. Well, I can still cast that spell. Well, no, I can't because I can't see him. Damn. To my to my understanding, uh, you, frightened creatures s still get their attacks of opportunity. That's right, but uh, they're making it without weapons and at disadvantage. Okay. Hmm. I'm just going to roll a couple of uh, basic melee attacks against um, Bezlock for uh, when he pushed through. Uh. My question. I would be, not have gone through the middle. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough. Yeah. Um, and it wouldn't have cost me any more distance, but those are all misses, anyways. That's fine. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Reynold. Uh, well, since I can't see, so I can't cast, which is a bit of a 
a bit hard for me. Uh, what I'm going to do instead is the safe thing is I'm going to cast uh, Cure Wounds on myself at uh, we, we'll do it at fourth level because uh, I am very hurt and I need health um, high rolls let's hope uh, that is a extra 25 which is great I feel wonderful. And that's my action. Cause I can't currently move any f more forward. And I don't want to go past those guys. I don't have anything I could do as a bonus action, really. So I'll just leave it there. Okay. Uh, I should move over one. Well, that'll be it. And, uh, Nicolo, you are invisible. That's correct. Yes. Okay. And you can rush us forward into the center of the temple. Um, trying to summon his magic. Uh oh. It's not quite able to. Um, damn. And stands ready to fight. Um, he gonna get it. He gonna get it. He gonna get the fight. He gonna get it, baby. Yep. And the skeletal warriors dash away, um, afraid of Mordecai. Do they get to repeat this save? When they can't see him. They have to use their action to uh, take the dash action and move as far away from me as they can on their turn. Okay. And uh, they don't get a save until they have full cover from me. And it has okay. to be the safest possible route. And uh, you levitated as high as you could. So at this point, they're going to be out of sight of you um, as you have levitated kind of above the entrance of the temple. Okay. And so they get to make their saves again. That's correct. Uh, that's correct. If I don't, if they don't have line of sight with me, if I can't see. If they can't see me, uh, they get a save. Uh, twenty-two and a nineteen. Uh, that will save. Okay, and they have expended their actions this turn. They seem to shake it off. Uh, shake it off. Dust falling from their armaments. <laughs> um, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> It's so, so dumb. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry about it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Brahms shouts, "Wyman approaches," and uh, his massive form just leaps over the wall. <laughs> yes, we are aware. I hope he's on our side. Mordecai, you're up. Um, I don't see Piccolo. So invisible. that kind of messes with my plans. Um, I can't. Okay, I can't do what I was gonna do. Do I have a line of sight now on Yakan? Do you lower yourself? Um, um, I picture how, the how? entrance of this being about twenty feet tall. I think I had said. Okay, I see what I. Uh, in that case, I, I will lower myself to to be able to see uh, through okay. the entrance. All right. How many feet would that be? Uh, we'll put you at like, you know, basically 15 feet above. Okay. Can you like splinter cell, like turn yourself upside down? <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> it's levitate. Here's the thing. It, it's called levitate. So I kind of imagine like I'm floating in outer space, you know, like the, uh, <laughs> zero you know gravity. I mean? like an yeah, zero gravity astronaut type where I'm just kind of like bobbing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if I see, uh, do, do I see uh, Yakan from here? Sorry, I was trying to set your vision on your token, and it's that uh, 
can you see him from your token? I don't. I think he's out of your sight. What is your dark so, vision range, though? So my dark vision is sixty feet. He's within sixty feet. That's fine. I don't know why it's revealing so much. Uh, yeah, I can still I see a bunch the... too. <clears throat> so yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, in that case, if I can see him. Uh, I am going to use the big guns. The big guns. <laughs> I didn't want. I didn't want to use this yet, but uh, because I can't see Piccolo, it changes my plans. So I okay. think it's best if I use it now. Oh, mental prison. No, that'll do it. So I'm going to try to target him and make an intelligence saving throw. Yes, that's right. Okay, with advantage. Uh, 22. Oh, that's going to save. So he's going to take uh, 5d10, and that's it. Okay. Only 5d10? Only 5d10. That's, that's nothing. I know. <laughs> for really me, good. that's like... For me, that's like 3 damage. <laughs> I mean... Don't jinx it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Remember what happened last time? You did, you did nine damage. There we Twenty-seven. Go. It, Not bad. It's okay. It's over over half. I'm I'm good with that. I, I mean, wait. that's that's my biggest lot. Like I can do that once a day. That's all right. Um, yeah, if I can, I'm I'm gonna try to move it back up again. That's fine. With whatever movement I have left. Okay. So I'll basically just put you like um, 10 feet above the entry of the of the cave here, just for semantics purposes. And uh, will that be all for you? Yeah, that's all I can do. Man, this guy's got good saves. You can uh, winks out of sight and appears behind his skeletal warriors. Stop moving. Please. Next is he crawl. Uh, I never mind. Did you get? Did I skip you? I think it was like two turns ago. It doesn't matter. Just go. You can uh, has a lot of legendary actions, so that might lead to some confusion. He's able to also misty step um, by using some legendary actions. No problem. So, P crawl, you're up. Okay. <clears throat> All right. P crawl is going to come charging back in. Five, ten, fifteen. From right here, and then poof, teleport up. Right back up into Ekan's face. Scimitar attack. Hiya. That's probably not going to do it. A 14 will 14. Miss. Okay, that's okay. Another teleportation. Pachow, over there. Going to take a swing at this guy. Okay. Dirty 20. Hits. Heck yeah, it does. 12 points okay. of slashing damage. Okay, very good. All right, and then... And then we're going to pop back over here with another one to get my extra attack since I attacked two targets. Or, uh, ugh, 15. Miss. All right. That's okay. <clears throat> and I'm just going to um, square back up at him. Just, uh, ah, I'm back. <laughs> and, um,. Uh... You know what? No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna screw with them. I'll be like, yeah, I'm back. No, I'm not. <laughs> Nature's veil again. Uh -huh. Disappear. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Another round. Do you move? <laughs> nope. Okay. Stand right there. 
You can. Well, I will. I'll, I'll. I will move. I'll move like around him. I think I still have like fifteen feet of movement, so I'll just kind of wrap around to behind him after after I disappear. So okay. I'm not still in the exact spot. Okay, roll me a D eight, please, and then uh, seven or eight. He guesses the right direction. <laughs> Don't worry, three. Chris rolls low all the time. He yeah, uh, he'll get it. You should have said a one or a two. I would have been like way more worried. You can't walk. Yeah, yeah. Swings the spear. Yeah, my, my dice have been hot today. Knock wood. That wasn't a great round for me. But uh, other than that, there right, you go. Be- Bezlock, you're next. All right. Uh, so Bezlock. Uh, he sees a nice, you know, t- he sees a bunch of uh, skeletons in front of him and wants to get involved. Uh, so he peeks out from behind the, uh, from behind the statue and uh, shoots off a firebolt. Uh, uh, this- 14 miss. 14. Okay. All right. And then he uses his bonus action to call Boo Boo forward. And Boo Boo will move 30 feet. And okay. that's it. That's the end of my turn. Okay. And uh, Chris, will you roll me, please, a D8 again? Seven or eight? is what you can would like. Uh-oh, we got these all black dice again. Oh, yeah. the dead of night. That. He's invisible. It only makes right. sense. No. Yeah. Two. <laughs> and uh, Bezlock's spear, again, just flies wildly, uh, not spear. finding any purchase. It Reynold, you're up. Oh, finally. He like runs out of my vision. I'm like, oh, please stop. And I'm going to use my full movement to get all the way up. And then I believe he is just within 60 feet. Yes. And as my action, I'm going to cast a flame strike at fifth level. Um, I'm centering it on this, uh, yeah, I'm centering it on this block. So it affects, uh, these two skeleton soldiers and you can himself, they need to make a 17 deck save or take half of this damage. Okay. 21 from you can. Okay. And the soldiers, uh, 19 and a 10. Okay. So that one of the soldiers takes the full brunt is 19 and then the other two take half of 12 and 7. They take 10. Yeah. As a, and you know, some of it is fire, some of it is radiant damage. That's my fifth level spell gaze. Nice. Must be nice to have fifth level spells. Yeah, well, I rolled two ones. I rolled, hold, wait. Two, three, I rolled five rolled- ones in that damage. So, I saw that. Yeah, not was, not really, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say that that's that's weak damage for that it, spell. It looked alarmingly low, and I wasn't sure why. That was not a good roll. No, it wasn't. And that'll be my turn. Okay. And uh, <laughs> you can shouts. You should have just stayed away. This is my temple now. No. Uh, <laughs> no. No, it's ours. <laughs> and um, let's see. Tries to summon his ice magic and is unava- unable to do so again. Dang it. We're we're evicting you. You didn't pay rent. And you can rush us forward to Bezlock quickly. Uh, spinning his spear, and this will provoke from uh, Nicolo if he wishes to attack. Do I have advantage since I'm invisible? Yes. F him up. 25. 25 hits. <laughs> That's all a right. one. Well, I'll damage. take it. It's a freebie. <laughs> I've been rolling sixes on it all day long, so I'll take that. Uh, nine points of slashing damage. And as you can moves to 
approach Bezlock, he hesitates for just a moment, looking at Piccolo as he's uh, struck in the back. But he continues with his plan and uh, swings his spear at Bezlock. Bezlock, dodge! A 20. Yes! A 20 will miss? Yes. Okay, thank you. And I didn't know... Sorry. So then the tail comes swinging around as well. Dodge! Uh, a 12. That's a hard miss. He just ducks under it. That's like, he doesn't have to duck. It just goes over his head because he's so short. And the two uh, skeletal warriors wring their hands, having dropped their sword and shield, and they uh, move back against Nicolo. And so does the one that has seemingly been, uh, you know, recently um, resurrected and has his full armaments. <laughs> Deja vu. Does this, does, does his invisibility break when he, because he's invisible? Yes, it would have. Yeah, I mean, I, it would. It would yeah. With an yeah. opportunity yeah. attack? Okay. That's fine. Um, are these guys fiends? No. Huh? They're they're undead. Are they undead? Yes. Okay, then they. I still have protection of me, uh, good and evil on me, so they have disadvantage if they try to attack me. That's fortunate. That's why I did it. <laughs> Sorry, I made this macro that is not working now. Um, I love hey. that they're all grouped up for me. Bezlock, why does this seem familiar? Yeah. <laughs> Here it comes. And Ooh. two of these uh, punch at you. A 20 and a 24. Okay, so, so it's with disadvantage, so that first attack oh, will hit. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and then again, at disadvantage. Auto miss. The one will miss. And so you'll just take um, ooh, eight damage, from the lethal gauntlet blow here. Um, and then I will take that on the chin. The one uh, approaches, wielding its blade. Uh, another master of the blade here, uh, a stalwart warrior in life, no doubt. And it swings its blade first one time, uh, twenty-six. Mm. It's uh, disadvantage because he has oh. disadvantage, and it's a Thank miss. You. Ah. A 13. Miss. And, and a hard miss. strike with a <laughs> nine. And the so skeleton warrior almost swinging falls and... its blade. Yeah, he's <laughs> so swinging. lucky, dude. He's swinging and 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 uh, and uh, 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 P. Crawl is literally just going whoop, whoop, dick, dick, dick. <laughs> just like falling backwards away from him. <laughs> it's not graceful. The, the holy magic he used for it is just Reynolds' laughter. <laughs> just <laughs> laughing at these skeletons as they miss. <laughs> Benzlock, do you have protection of Savage. from good and evil cast upon you? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Brahms rushes through and uh, he does cast that upon you. Hey, Brahms. As he rushes into the room. <laughs> yes, hey, Reynolds. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Hell what's yeah, up? Man. <laughs> Next is uh, is Mordecai. All right. <laughs> There's only one answer in this situation. Uh, I'm gonna drop myself down again. Uh, do I still see Yakan? Yes. In that case, he's gonna take a full face of uh, Eldritch Blast. Face, baby. <laughs> Get him. Face. So that's going to be three attacks. Uh, normal. Okay. A 27 and a 24 hit. The 15 misses. Uh, I believe I have uh, inspiration. <laughs> you know what? Don't bother. I'm going to add five. Uh, I got you. Hit. That will hit. Okay, perfect. Let me take okay. that. Mordecai and his gun. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. 
That was one flash of genius, by the way. That's what I used. Thank you. Yep. Oh my. Oh. Jesus. Wow. I got angry, apparently. Nice. Okay, so 38 <laughs> damage total for standing. Maybe being a devil isn't a bad thing. I just want to say, oh, I just want to say that that did more damage than my sixth level spell slot. <laughs> than my fifth level spell slot. Jeez. Or like are broken. <laughs> Were you gonna say something, Davis? No, never mind. I, you you are okay. So I I misread what Flash of Genius does. So it's for ability checks. So okay. it, I, I can't add it. In that case, uh, I I will use the uh, inspiration if I still have it. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Thank you for clarifying, Davis. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, very good. We'll, you can hold the same that. damage roll. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not a bard. All right. Will that be a bard, bard yet? Bard yet. Hi, sir. <laughs> Am I up? That's the end of my turn. Uh, right. No, not yet, my friend. Oh. And the devil uh, spins. Sorry, the spear. one last thing. Okay. He does get shoved 30 feet. Yeah. Get him away. Oh, it, ooh, ooh, do I get an opportunity attack when that happens? No, my friend. Oh, come on. As well. Come on. I know. You guys are killing me. I feel uh, like half of D&D is just is asking for things, hoping the DM <laughs> doesn't remember the rule. Doesn't remember the rule, yep. <laughs> That's it. Oh, my goodness. It's not um, a game about being heroes. It's just a, a game about trying to slip past loopholes. <laughs> <laughs> and as the uh, towering trees approach uh, from outside of the ice walls, they stop. And moments later... You see a familiar face, uh, Mordecai, as Wyman hops over the ice wall, uh, perhaps to join in on the fray here. Uh, and I'm going to move Wyman, and um, he will be on the map here. Uh-oh. Hey, Wyman, you're not here to, like, kill us, right? <laughs> you're You're cool. You know, after leaving you behind. Totally cool. We met him in a forest and he was pretty chill. <laughs> Wyman raises from his his single knee, uh, his eyes focused and intent. Uh, P. Crawl, you're up. That's, that okay. doesn't sound good. <clears throat> We're fine. P. Crawl is going to teleport 10 feet. Over here, take a swing on this guy, the one I, I hit earlier. Okay. Oh, not at advantage, sorry. That's a 19 to hit. Hits. For uh, nine points of damage. Okay. Another teleport. <sighs> right here, in front of, right in front of Yakan's face. Skelter Warrior just reaches out and hugs the air. <laughs> I'm back! Another swing. Come on, oh. twenty-eight hits. That's eleven points of damage. Okay. Two two targets. Get my get my third attack. Another ten port teleportation over to this side. Very good. Another swing. He's moving. Oh, okay. Twelve. A twelve will miss. miss probably. That's fine. Um, cool. Bonus action. Misty step. 5, 10, 15. Wait, where are the house? Here. Yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20 feet. Pop. And then 5, 10, 15, 20. Five. I'll just go. I'll just come back over to here. I'm just going to kind of. Back up into into the into the the the, the crew. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey! I haven't seen you in like forty seconds. <laughs> I you have can. like three broken fingers. My nose is broken. I'm bleeding out of my mouth and eyes. <laughs> I'm just like, hey, we're all right. It's good. I <laughs> okay. You can spins his magical spear and calls down an ice storm. Uh, oh, Raynal, okay. Bezlock, and Nicolo, please make dexterity saving throws. 
Okay. Does uh, your protection thing mm. work on this? Let's go. Uh, I don't think it does. I think it's just attacks. Wow. I, it's, it, I, it works against saving throws. I, I can't be like charmed or anything like that, but it doesn't work. Oh, yeah, that. that's right. It's right. Possession stuff. And Ooh, all 19. <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, good job, guys. Okay, you guys will take half damage. Uh, so half of seven is three. Half of ten is five uh, cold. Five cold. Uh, three okay. bludgeoning. And what's half of three again? Two? One round down. Okay, so I took four damage. Okay, and then uh, Bezlock, you're up. That's pretty cool. Hey, uh, so Bezlock, I have four hit points left. <laughs> yeah, so Bezlock looks over uh, and sees uh, uh, Piccolo uh, looking pretty pretty brutal. He's not. He's, he's like a couple teeth. Yeah, he's 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 not having a great day. You can you can tell. Um, and uh, casts for a vitality. Um, as he does that, Boo Boo's feet become no longer uh, are able to adhere to to walls. Um, and I will aim the first round at Piccolo. You can heal for two uh, d six. Awesome. He crawl. Yep. Pretty good. Oh. That, yeah. Doubled my hit points. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And then uh, Boo Boo will move forward uh, to right there. And that's it. That's the end of my twin. Okay. One. And next is Reynold. All right. We're going to try this again. Hopefully it goes better. And then we're going to once again use uh, my second fifth level for another flame strike. Come on, baby. No uh, whammies. No whammies. All right. Uh, that's there better. We go. I like I'm centering it here. Wait, hold on. Let's see how, how, bad, how good we can get this. Yeah, I'm centering it here so it affects all of three skeleton soldiers and you can. Uh, 23 but from you can. Yeah, he saves. With advantage? Why does he have advantage? He's a, he's a big guy. Roll attacks. The oh. saves are too good. Uh, six fails and a 20 saves. Yeah. Come on, give me two more. Oh, I'm the sorry, skeletons. Oh, one more, one more skeleton. Yes. My apologies. Uh, seventeen. That's my sit. So that's my DC. Okay. So that one guy who failed takes uh, what is that? Thirty-two points of damage, and then everyone else takes sixteen. Uh, sixteen. It's a bitchin' spell. Sixteen yeah. fire and sixteen radiant halved. That's pretty good damage. That is. Hey, that's like one eldritch blast, but that's on like four people. <laughs> that's okay. a lot of damage yeah well done and and then I'm going to move 5 10 15 20 I'm out of there see you later <laughs> that'll be my turn and Good luck, again, guys. you can try to summon the magic necessary to cast an ice wall. Is unable to do so, and uh, looks around and barks an order at the chain devil who moves to another frozen statue and begins uh, moving um, against the chains there, casting some kind of magic. Uh, you can rushes forward. And uh, we'll actually swing over the head of Boo Boo at Bezlock uh, with his spear. Disadvantage. A nice. 20. Miss. And his tail then comes swinging around uh, over the statue. Uh, 20. Uh, hit, but I'm going to... No, just take it. Let's go. 
You take nine bludgeoning and twelve cold damage. Okay. And uh, the warriors uh, move up in formation, although oh. two of them are lacking their swords. And all three of them move up side by side. Um, the one uh, on the far end to the right uh, grabs its hands, axes, and and quickly, uh, deftly, it um, Yeah, I will have it move into position as it moves forward so that it can uh, throw at Reynold, uh three axes. Hey! A 28. Nice crit. A 17. A 12. Yeah. Uh, 17 uh, will miss, or? Uh, yes, it will. It, just okay. a crit. Sad. Crits hurt. Yeah. Well, it is a hand axe, so. It's not the worst. Oh! Yeah. There must be some magic to this throwing axe, uh, and <laughs> that is that is the universe balancing itself, is what that is. <laughs> I think the others have thrown their throwing axes. They have. Yeah, they yeah, did. They, they threw them like earlier. Yeah. Yeah. I'm good with that. Bronze. I think that. I think I'm the fine. handle just hits me in the eye. I'm like, ah, ow. <laughs> Brom steps up to the devil. You can. Swinging his warhammer and hits. <laughs> and I'm going to do hey. average damage for bronze. Do, 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 do. And next is Mordecai. Okay. <laughs> I have something. Uh, oh, since oh do you? Since they're all grouped up like that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do this. Uh,. I am going to cast uh, where is it? Here it is. So this is a fireball sized uh, synaptic explosion. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try to aim it so that it's just outside of the range of my compatriots. Okay. If, so. if I can, if I, if I have to hit Brahms, I will. But I'm going to try to aim it away from them. Okay, you can avoid them all. Okay, perfect. In that case, I'm going to cast uh, Synaptic Static and try to get as many of these guys as I can in that 20-foot uh, sphere. So that's a 20-foot radius, not diameter. Yeah, I was just playing gotcha. with it. You Sorry. can you can hit everybody. It looks like, including the chain devil. This is for you, can. Uh, Thirteen. <gasps> Fail. Oh my god. Nice. And for the skeletal knights, uh, first far left. Uh, nine in the oh, middle. Uh, Fail. Mm -hmm. Almost wanted to be a twenty. Yeah, Fail. On the far right and eleven. Oh. Fail. And the chain devil. Hate to see it. Oh, no, the chain hate. devil's out of range. Killing me here with the chain no. devil. No, you can. <laughs> Let's see here. 15, 20. Oh, sh oh my God. You are going to hit it. You, you yeah. can hit him. Smack him. And, and Brahms is out of range. That's beautiful. Wow. This with advantage. Wow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <double> ones. <laughs> Okay. It so ain't doing what's with these nothing. dice tonight, man? So what's he gets thing? feeble minded, right? Because it's like an yeah, intelligence thing. He, he, he just, just dies. Massive damage. Okay. Deal some damage here. So that's 8d6 so on uh, normal. Be AP6. Psychic damage. None of it's hacked. And they're also going to have uh, minus 1d6 on all attacks and ability checks. As well there as con go. saves to maintain concentration. Oh, that's beautiful. I saw like <laughs> six fives. Wow. That's here, right? Woo! 30 short damage. 
this makes up for everything. <laughs> it really does. Well, are you rolling damage on each one, or just one damage for all? One damage will affect them all. Oh, good God! That was a good roll. <laughs> that, was good. that was damn near max. One time, the one time it counts. Oh, look at that. <sighs> Oh, <laughs> yeah. and the Bye skeletal way. warrior in the middle uh, is dropped and disheartened, just falls to a knee. Um, not, you know, defeated or obl defeated, but not obliterated. Uh, but I'm going to remove it from the battlefield. Like a, like a batter droid. <laughs> Holy crap. Everyone who failed their save is going to have a minus one D6 on their attack rolls and ability checks. Uh, they have a, another uh, intelligence save at the end of each of their turns. Okay. To break that, yeah. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my movement to float back up. <laughs> hey, Mordecai. <laughs> Say, what up? <laughs> Ciao. See you later. Bye, Mordecai. <laughs> then pop out. <laughs> Thank you. That. You've been very helpful. <laughs> love it. You can uh, winks out of sight and then reappears at the entrance of the temple. Looks angrily up at into the sky at you, Mordecai. Let's come down here. <laughs> can you not fly? And uh, above you, ice. Um, the clouds coalesce and drop massive uh, bludgeoning ice upon you. Please make a dexterity saving throw. Me? Now this wait are you thirty feet? <laughs> Fuck, you're out of range. I can't help you. Uh. Oh, he's got devil's own luck. He's fine. I know, I know, but it's literally my job. I have devil's own luck and I do have resistance against the cold if I need it, so. Um let's see. Uh you said dexterity? Yes, please. Will you stay airborne? Is the question. Well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and use Devil's Own Luck on this. Okay. Tabs the damage. Yeah. I, I don't think it's gonna do it, but hey, I'll take it if I can. Just roll that ten. Just roll ten. Yeah, I've been rolling pretty good today. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah fifteen. About it. Probably not enough. Fifteen no. saved for me earlier. And looks at his notes. If a 15 is saved for you earlier, then a 15 will save. That's what you told me. Yeah. Yeah. So yes, so you take half damage. Okay. Nice roll. Oh. And you said you had cold resistance too? I do. It's a double. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. So pebbles. you can't grow frustrated uh, trying to <clears throat> take out uh, what has become essentially the bane of his existence in Mordecai. <laughs> Can you not fly? Oh, that's must right. You can't oh, fly. You can't fly. oh, what's this? Little baby ice devil oh. can't fly in his own domain. Are you stuck on the ground? <laughs> You're going to cry and make some ice tears. <laughs> the skeletal warriors move swiftly upon Reynold. Uh, ah! One of them moving to distract. Ah! <laughs> And Only one so, of them has weapons. Yes, and the one without a weapon moves uh, to distract, granting it an advantage uh, to his ally yeah, uh, on the first no attack here. Oh, Please okay. do roll with a minus 1d6. Uh, oh, but it doesn't, it doesn't matter. 1d6. Will a 17 hit? No. Okay. <laughs> the second strike. Oh, a no, 27. I'm so scared. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> minus 1d6. Minus 1D6. 6, so 21. Oh, he punched you, dude. He just sacked you in the face. Yeah, I, I have 19 AC. I, I, okay. No, I I'm sorry. So what's going on is the one without um, a sword, like, was a decoy essentially to grant advantage on the first strike? And now these are the three strikes for the, from the one who still holds its sword. Oh. oh. Wait, does it grant advantage on every attack? No. Or just the first? Just the first. It's just okay. automatically set like that for this character sheet. 
Um, oh no. So no, 21, and so I need to subtract the six from that also. Yes. Uh, oof, wow. 50. Okay. Miss. <laughs> nice. So basically one hit. Yeah, so far. Okay. And I've made all, all three attacks for it. Oh, woo! The I'll 17, take like... the 21, and now yeah. the 15. I'm going to take a gajillion damage from one hit. Nah. 2d8 plus uh, 5. 15 from the sword. Yeah. Okay. Ow. That did hurt. Yeah. It Brahms moves quickly to your side. Um, Hello. And swings his warhammer. Hey, uh, dealing Brahm. a hefty blow to this creature. Go, Brahm, go. Go, Brahm, go. Next is Mordecai. <laughs> is that all you can do? <laughs> blast me with the ice pebbles. <laughs> I'll just blast right in his face. <laughs> Reynold feels oddly like proud. <laughs> he's he's not sure why, but he's like he's doing it. He's beginning to taunt. <laughs> <laughs> Let me give you a taste of what power feels like. He's got all these one liners. <laughs> Since you have none. Uh, 16 will miss, a 26 and a 29 will both hit. Okay, perfect. Nice. <laughs> That'll be 23. 23 damage. I, I don't think he can be pushed, but uh, he's going to be, he's going to feel the weight of, of those Eldritch Blasts, I think. Can he okay. be pushed prone? If he's being pushed 20 feet down straight. He does go into the earth a couple of inches in the, into these uh, these tiles are lowered beneath the sheer force of this magic, but he keeps his footing somehow, <laughs> even though it may be the last time he stands. Will this be all for you, Mordecai? Oh, I'm, go great. I'm going to use my uh, movement <laughs> to rise even further up okay. as I spread my arms and say, come for me. Man, you are so annoying. This <laughs> devil's sight is locked upon you. With no, you are the worst. No regard for any of the other combatants on the field. It again, summons a storm above you. Make a dexterity saving throw, please. Oh, do you talk I trash? Don't, I don't have. I don't have devil's luck anymore. Okay. Uh, okay. Normal. Oh okay, shit. Dexterity. But you got you. Hey, you got cold resistance. I got cold resistance. But save, yes! 17? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you will take half damage, so um, half eight and, and then uh, four. Cold. Four? Eight okay. and four cold. Uh, I have resistance to cold. And then half of that. Yeah, so it's half and then half again. Of two. Hey, Chris, you still have Wyman's character sheet? Oh, shit, Wyman's about to get involved. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to make him fight us as Wyman. Oh, no. Just make him duel himself, you know? Oh, God. Wyman should have the benefit of, you know, having an extended rest very recently. It's fully charged and fully, uh, full powers. Um, and Chris, if you would, you can take control of Wyman as Wyman has come to the battlefield realizing uh, that he must stand against Yakan. <laughs> he has well, dispatched much of his party which was in fact devils and demons uh, that you you know met with him earlier in the woods. Now he goes alone. Uh, perhaps he still has some uh, you know allies, but they are not with him at this moment. Chris, you can act uh, for Wyman. He's muted. You're muted. Oh, Chris, you're muted, Sorry. my friend. That's okay. Okay. Uh, yes, I do have his court his sheet. Um, um, give me just just half a second here let me figure out what we got going on okay yep so um if you could play mordecai here? too and brahms that'd be great <laughs> okay well uh wyman is gonna pull out the the sword and the shield and go ahead and he's just gonna charge straight up on him um as he's running um i'll use his bonus action oh i still have my macro on here perfect he'll use his bonus action to uh activate um the right of the dawn um which he has it does something extra sorry give me a sec that's okay 
Okay, so this is going to be radiant damage on it. Um, okay, no, he's not undead, right? So, yeah, no. Actually... No, because he's a high steed. Yeah, no, let's let's uh let's change it up. Let's use the ride of the flame. Let's do some fire damage instead. Okay. And uh he is going to make two attacks with his long sword, which All is right. now emblazoned in flame. Okay. So the first one is a yeah, sixteen. A sixteen will miss. Um, but I think I, I think I have a thing. I think I have okay. a thing. Yes, I um, think. Sorry for throwing this curveball at you. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. I just gotta. I, I think I have an ability where I can add a. That'd be really helpful. <laughs> it's not that one. You don't finish this team enough. I'm gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> I got five d six ready to go. Yeah, I can I can do some as well. I'm just really waiting. It's my finishing move. All right, I don't think I do, so it's fine. It misses. All right, second attack. Okay. <sighs> uh, eleven. I yeah, it's whatever. Um, mm. yeah. So he just squares up. Um, kind of move more like right in front of him. Okay. And uh, that's it. That's his turn. Okay. After Wyman, his peak crawl. Okay. Peak crawl is he's going to be focusing on something else because he just noticed something in the last round. So he's going to move over to here. Um, this uh this devil over here is doing some work on this on this uh statue still the chain devil up here yes okay does it look like with what they're doing if they were say restrained would it maybe inhibit them from completing it it very well might yeah okay then i'm going to cast entangle mm. at them uh nice. that is a strength saving throw dc 15 come on no whammies one time. Sorry, I keep closing that window for some reason. <laughs> no whammies. 18. Ah, yeah, all right. That's a whammy, dang it. That's a whammy. <laughs> so the vines and everything pop up, but they, they break out of it pretty easily. Um, the area is still difficult terrain for whatever that's worth. Okay. Um, <laughs> And yeah, I guess uh, for oh shoot, crap! That was dumb. I didn't think uh -oh. about that. that's okay. Something's wrong. No, yeah, it's fine. That's a uh, I. I lost concentration on my protection from evil and good by casting that because that ah, was a okay concentration spell but it's fun didn't pay out it's okay i'm going to all right he's gonna step just step back around here and um i'm gonna use my 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 limited telepathy that i have to just sort of sort of send the the because I, I can't communicate words so just send the sort of the vibe out that like this this guy up here is going to cause us more problems if he's not dealt with. Um, and that's it. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you can okay. looks to Wyman and begins chanting uh, some evil incantation. Wyman, please make a charisma saving throw. Okay. Ooh. Um. Uh, one uh, second. Oof. One second. I have. Let me see. Yeah, you're within thirty feet. I can. I can actually add five to that. 
Uh, I don't think that's going to do it. That's only going to get me up to 13. I didn't well, see I mean, what the spell was, so I don't know. Despite your knowledge of the evils that Yakan has uh, perpetrated against you, uh, you have sworn uh, an oath that is higher than that knowledge uh, to fight on his behalf when called to fight. And you have been so called to fight. A Wyman now uh, must turn against uh, any of the combatants on the field on his next turn. Fair enough. Hey, Bezlock, it is your turn. All right. Um, so Bezlock, uh, he's he's starting to get you know pretty angry. Uh, his um, his armor uh, is is definitely taking some hits. Uh, he uh, he reaches down to his belt um, and he grabs uh, this little container full of oil uh, and he he smashes it uh, on his sun blade. And so I will, for, with my bonus action, I will cast Branding Smite. Um, and then he is going to sprint, sprint down towards you can. And uh, using uh, all the momentum that he can get, uh, he takes his sun blade and he attacks. All right. 11 misses. Miss, misses the first one. He takes the second swing. 24 hits. All right. So that will do that much plus uh, two more D6 plus another D, uh, 2D6 because I'm going to use um, my, whatchamacallit, oh, Arcane Jolt as well. Um, which is this, so that he'll take another 2d6 force damage on top of that. So 12, 24, 24, 31, oh, 35 damage in total. And with your branding smite, you can begins to glow dimly. And, uh, does Bezlog have a family crest or anything of that nature? Uh, he wears an amulet. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, this amulet, what, does it have a specific design? Uh, it has, yeah, it has like a cog, uh, and it's essentially his feral, his family heraldry. Um, it's also the only thing keeping him from going completely insane. And with your branding smite, this uh, cog or gear, like a gear basically, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is branded into the ice devil as... It is slain and defeated. You can uh, vanishes from sight, and quickly a wave of relief and cleansing energy washes uh, through the temple. And those undead warriors who stand there, poised to strike, uh, seem to have been, uh, you know, something has changed in them. And the one that is taken to his knee stands and begins to look around uh, as if finding themselves in a strange place. And uh, although they are slain and now they have been absolved of their curse seemingly, uh, they still stand here, not reaching the comfort of the afterlife yet. Um, and... Actually, before we continue, we're going to take a break uh, for the stream. We'll uh, take like a 14, 15 minute break and uh, then we'll be right back and the adventure will continue. Whoa, is he gone? Yeah. Gone for now, I guess. Yeah, we're back live. Hmm. He had to go get more insurance. So this <laughs> burger. Just kill the boss and bail, I guess. Yep. <laughs> That's all. Uh, that's all Mordecai was ever after. He just wanted to take that guy down. Yeah. Well, I mean, he might get his staff right now. I thought Wyman was going to get the uh, last blow there. I was so psyched when Wyman's he whiffed. Bad luck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> when he whiffed, too, man. It was rough. I was, I was so psyched when he whiffed. I was like, "Yeah, I'm going to get this one." That's too funny. 
I thought we'd have some redemption there for Wyman, but no. <laughs> nope. Nope. It's a bad scene. Wyman it's a bad scene. Meant to be. Wyman is a cursed character, man. He did not he does not he's so strong, but he just does not do well. <laughs> <laughs> I have a query. A query? A query. Presents. Out with it. Anyone here played Darkest Dungeon or have heard of it? You have been? I've heard of it, but I've not played it. Well, no and no. It's a dungeon scroller game that's like 2D, and you get a party of four heroes, and it's, it's really unforgiving. It's like Love difficult, that. but in a good way, you know. Where if you get called? good at it, it, Darkest Dungeon, it's like, or if you get good at it, you you feel like a god, and, and you get like one or two. Uh, one. They they made a sequel after like eight years the of it being looks at. Looks really awesome. I know, yeah, it right? Does. It's great artwork, and it's like really gothic and like like horror-y. and. Brutal. Uh, there's a mechanic where if you get too stressed out, you get like a like a negative like ailment where you start like like you don't have any control over it. Like you either refuse heals or like buffs from your teammates, or you like deal stress damage to them as well, or you like are abusive towards them and like you, maybe you deal some damage to somebody or or something like that. And if you hit like full stress, you have a heart attack and you lose all your HP. And the next time you get hit, you can like possibly die. It's it's a really great it's a really great game and the artwork is fantastic and I found a PDF online that has a hundred and fifty page like PDF document of a converted like D and D like monster stat blocks like everything in the game so like everything from like the low low, low tier like uh, minions to like the bosses like a prophet who doesn't have his eyes and sits behind pews and stuff like that it's like it was like a gold mine. Like I found, like the holy shrine. <laughs> you gonna run it? Uh, I'm using some of the uh, creatures from it for my current campaign, just for solely for the fact that I know the I know the creatures and the and the artwork is like incredible, like swine folk, like eldritch cool. beings and and stuff like that too. Nice, nice. And it's for it's uh, converted to fifth edition. Well, it's it was a it was a uh, PDF that has all the monsters like stat blocks. Yeah. So they made stat blocks for so pretty much converted to, to fifth edition. Yeah, yeah. Like none of the actual game mechanics are in there, but that's what you mean. Still, though. that's cool. <coughs> Good find. Yeah. And it was free. Like not better. Not like pirated, stolen. Like free, free. Free is for me. Like genuine, legit free. Like legit free. Like I don't, I didn't have to like steal it off the internet somewhere. It was freely given. You should yeah, have stolen sure. it anyway, just to be uh, <laughs> a little daring. scamp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So we left off right at the end of the uh, of battle there, at the conclusion of uh, your conflict with Yakan, the devil who you've been hunting now for. God, it seems like we've even tried to kill you can for months <laughs> one would say crossed out thoroughly on the map <laughs> um, <laughs> and when the devil is slain uh, he drops his spear of ice and the ice melts away quickly and you see that the shaft of the spear is the rod of the pact keeper that Mordecai has sought and here it lies before you on the ground Mordecai in the snow Go ahead and pick that up. Mordecai. Um, before you come like a demon lord or something, are you going to be like nice towards us when you are one? The crawl who has no idea about any of this is just going to wa come wandering up and, and sees you pick it up and goes, well, that's a nice look at the stick on dibs. Yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> no, you want? Oh, you want? That's fine. It's fine. No, no, you picked it up first. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm, I'm, just, holding, I'm just holding them like I'm just having. 
like a mental breakdown that we actually survived that <laughs> both in character and as a player <laughs> um and mordecai will need to attune to this uh to be able to use it i understood so we got a, a little bit before mordecai tries to kill us good and as i said yeah, when got, the you devil got an you, hour when Wait, the devil you can was defeated first there was a wave of relief and cleansing energy and now another wave washes over the tape over the temple this palace of the frozen duke this is like anxiety and dread and it washes over the statues of faces and the faceless devils first you think it might be from mordecai's evil laughter uh then the statues around you animate Wait, and no. <laughs> these are the statues of Makazel's eight faces of humiliation four of them here they contort uh changing from one to the next laughing as they do so how how long would that interplay have taken from the time that i slayed him and we were out of combat to the activation of the things like how many per seconds perhaps a minute okay so i'm can i do the rest of my aura of vitality then sure Okay, so that's what the, all these D6s are. All right, so... Very good. Um, anybody else need while we're while, while I'm taking them down? Uh, get Picrawl. I'm I'm hurt. I'm pretty low, but I imagine he's even lower. I okay, have, I mean, hurt. I have plenty. Plenty of heals left, so... So do I. Yep. We just need time. All right, that tops me... I'm pretty hurt. It's pretty close. Do you have any extra? Yeah. Yep. Uh, just let me know how many D6 you want. I think I have... Uh, you got I have 10 eight left. left. Oh, 10 left. Yeah. Um. Okay. I'll take four, six, however many you got. Do you got your guy out? I do. So four D6? Yeah. Just, you can roll it. Go ahead. Well, I think this... If he's got his guy, he doesn't need it. He it's, just maxes. Uh, it's auto max. Max rolls. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so, take 24. Okay, perfect. Chris, you Wait, need... So did heals? I get all of this? You or, get 6d6. Uh, you can roll 6d6. That's how much I have left. 6? Bodhi, did you need? Uh, We'll see if this goes bad. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Uh, all right. Could have been worse. <laughs> so that's another... 17. That's, that's really unfortunate. Yeah. There we yeah, go. Well, you know. The faceless statues here <clears throat> animate before you uh, quickly and are moving across the room. You all are caught in kind of a reverence of what's happening here, uh, unable to act for the for the moment at least. And these statues that were faceless lift the large statues of masks into the air as they contort. Um, and they place them over their own faces, the stone breaking apart, revealing large grotesque masks beneath. Um, and they meld onto the faces of these faceless devils. And they begin to rotate in a circle facing outward. The four of them here before you, um, you know, like taking a defensive posture around uh, something they wish to protect. And there amidst them, you see smoke... Uh, more like um, the steam that's caused when it's, you know, just very cold um, and there's any kind of warmth there to cause it. And steam rises from, uh, you know, the middle of these four, uh, well, now masked devils. And it seems to take on the shape of a humanoid, a figure, uh, a devil with horns. And its own face is nondescript, uh, shifting between each of the eight faces of Makazel. And whatever evil this is, uh, it is of tremendous power. Uh, should I try to banish it? <laughs> Let's see what happens first. Mordecai. Let's get out of here, Brahms says quickly. Everybody, please roll initiative. Uh oh. Okay. Uh oh. Uh, 
uh, Randall's gonna yell, "Everyone on me! I can get us out!" Oh, not this crap again. Well, mine's guaranteed at the very least. I can only take me and five others. I mean, let's see what the bad guy is before we you know, go run it. Okay. Oh. So, oh, Pacrawl got a five for initiative, and um, Wyman got a ten. I didn't. I forgot to change the name before I rolled the other one. I uh, I don't have much health. I was kind of banking on this being a good thing. I did, I did move the crawl down because I, I, I had said that he had walked down to, to where uh, Mordecai was at before everything happened. Mordecai, in your head now, you hear laughter as if the faces of this creature are laughing and you hear in your own head, now Mordecai, fate has brought us together. It is our time at last. You do not need to flee. Stay here with me. And you recognize the voice of Makazel, the frozen duke, your patron. Bezlock, you don't hear any of this. You just see the uh, large wispy figure amidst these uh, circling devils, uh, their faces changing into you know various states. Bezlock, you can act first. Okay. Um, sorry, my wife walked in while, while we were discussing. Uh, where is the mob? No worries. Sorry. You need to. Yeah, I'm not going to place it on the map here. I don't have uh, tokens and such for this. Oh. Uh, just kind of picture yourself in the midst of the the main lobby here of the palace, and these are the statues that have all kind of come to life, and sure. they would be just kind of you know towards midway or halfway back of the room, uh, circling this whatever entity is being summoned or coalescing. <clears throat> okay. Um... Oh, so we have a, a preparatory turn. All right, let's see. I am going to use my... Uh, I'm going to use my action to cast Branding Smite again. And so I'll, I'll reach down and I'll, I'll uh, take a, a little bottle of oil and I'll, I'll smash it on my Sunblade. Um, and I'll cast that at a second level. All right. Yep. And then, oh, I don't know why it rolled the damage, but yeah. Um, and then uh, I will uh, seek cover from behind. Uh, is this the statue that's moving? Like, or is it all the statues have there? animated? Yeah. Try to ignore the the battle map, and it's basically. Like kind of the empty room with the uh, statue, the um, you know stones with the skeletal figures along the sides. Okay. Uh, okay. So then I'll just I'll move out to yeah I'll just move to the entryway um, and uh, take the defense action and end my turn and then I'll command Boo Boo to do the same thing. Um, okay, <clears throat> and so Bezlock, as you act, the faces in front of you begin to contort and laugh and cry at the same time. And everybody, please uh, make a wisdom saving throw. All right, I do that with advantage. So does Pecrow. I don't, but I have plus ten, so I should be okay. Must be nice. Twenty-four for crawl. Twenty-two. That's a crit, baby. Eight for um, <laughs> Wyman. That's a twenty for me. What a plus five save, uh, Pete Crawl. Pete Crawl is good. Wyman failed. Okay. Which is on brand. And Wyman yeah. drops yeah. his weapon and falls to the ground, convulsing in laughter, tears streaming from his eyes. That's disconcerting. <laughs> <laughs> we all just stand there looking at him, like, "What's with this guy again?" <laughs> That's what he does every time. Well, especially because in the brief time that you all know knew him, he was the he is the last person you would ever expect to ever see laugh at all. Yeah. Let alone convulsing with it on the ground. He's a grumpy guess. Alright. And <clears throat> 
you hear a magical incantation from the figure and it's becoming manifest between these demons and um uh reynald will you please make a charisma saving throw oh yes following enough i do have proficiency in this as a nat 20 get nice. out of my mind demon nice We are saving. My goodness. <laughs> and uh, you recognize the spell being cast as banishment, uh, but you resist. Oh. And you stay here. Oh. I will leave on my own terms. <clears throat> and is next funny. is Reynold, and Brom says, Leave. I think we should. Um, we have tarried too long. Okay. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, God. Do I have enough movement? 5, 10, 15, 20. There you go. Uh, can I get there? Where are you I trying to go? Let's let's try to ignore the map and describe where you're trying to move to. Well, I have a spell called Word of Recall, where if I have... I need people to be within five feet of me, I can take me and five others. So, okay. essentially meaning everybody uh, except Wyman, I guess, because he's dead so in, you'll, yeah you'll need to wait for everybody to join you like um whoever else is in initiative will need to move uh to your position uh if you want to try to do that i can so try you, i you, i can move closer to make it easier for them yeah absolutely so um maybe you would then move towards kind of bezlock who's already moved uh for the sake of semantics here and then you know speak to the others and try to inform them of yeah. your intention here yeah, I'll just start. I'll start booking it and say, "Brahms, follow me. Everyone, form up. I'm getting us out of here." Okay, and next is pre call, P crawl. Is it P crawl or is it? I think I think Wyman. Cause I thought Wyman had P crawl. Is, no, no, no. P crawl had the five. Oh, okay, then Wyman. Wyman had the ten. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, um, Wyman's gonna move up to to uh, Reynolds' uh, area, but he's gonna he's gonna move like in front of him. To sort of put himself in between uh, Reynold and all of that, and just take up like a defensive stance and try to, you know, help to defend Reynold against anything. Okay, you, they... Wyman doesn't seem to be able to come any closer to this creature, um, having just been oh. terrified of it. Oh wait, that's right. I'm sorry. He's yeah. He's it's okay. Cackling on the ground. So does can he do anything? Is he fully incapacitated, or is he... If he was going to uh, to take an action, he would need to uh, only... He can't move closer, essentially. Okay. He's frightened. Um, and he's a, he's a melee guy. Yeah, yeah. So, then he... Um, he's he me. will... Um, he will go ahead and draw his weapon and activate um, his Rite of the Dawn on it. Um... And just, I, yeah, just just take up a defensive stance and okay, just stand there with his knee shaking. I guess I'm gonna <laughs> stand behind you. <laughs> and next is Mordecai. <laughs> I'm sorry, you muted. You said we don't have enough to take Wyman with us. No, it's um, me and five, five others, four. and we have six, including. No. Excluding, oh. we have seven, okay. uh, we, including Boo Boo. Bro, Boo -Boo. No, Boo Boo is a construct. He would come with. Yeah, I'm riding him. He would just wait. Who's six? So I was I was counting Boo Boo in that as no. a creature. So if Boo Boo will just come with you as a object or something like that, then I can get everybody, including Lyman. That's the DM. I mean, there's no ruling on that. That's that's up to the DM for sure. I'm fine with that. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I can I can exfil everybody as soon as they're next to me. But why? And Brom has his too. own. Brom has his own teleport magic too. I'm I'm including Brahms as well. Okay. Literally everybody can can get out of here. Reynold has moved back to where Bezlock and Wyman are. Okay. If you are next to Wyman, in that case, I'm going to use my movement to get to you. All right. Can I get and within five feet? Yes. Yeah, you can get right up to the group. Absolutely. Awesome. 
And then P. Crawl? Or I'm sorry, will that be all for Mordecai? <clears throat> um, you actually, do recognize this start... to be uh, Makazel, your patron, before you. I'm, I'm going to say to him, for as long as I live, this flame will be mine. When I'm gone, I don't care. And uh, I'm going to cast uh, Banishment on these devils if I can see them. Okay, you can try to do so. So that'll be a DC 18 Charisma save. On two of them. I I would take that deal. Oof. You're so good at breaking his encounters. <laughs> Two of the devils that are summoning whatever manifestation of Makazel this is blink out of existence. As I hold out my hand and close it, they disappear. Okay. Next. That'll be my. That'll be my turn. Next is P. Crawl. All right. Um, P. Crawl is going to move into position um, uh, next to next to Reynold within five feet of him, um, and taking a cue from Mordecai, he's going to try his same trick a second time, and he's going to uh, cast Entangle on one of the remaining ones that's still trying to summon the. Uh, cast this spell. See if he can okay. interrupt it. Okay. So it's a strength save. DC 15. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so as they're they're going through their somatic motions, two vines just come up and catch their wrists and, like, pull them down. Very good. And then and I'm just focusing on that and just, like, holding that and, like, got my hand back on, on uh, Reynold. And Brahms retreats as well <clears throat> to complete the circle, and you all are here. This should trigger Reynolds' readied action. So as as we all gather up, I'm like, okay, everybody, we're going on a ride. And is this going to this is going to be a flash of bright energy, like as if we were in the sun very briefly, and then we get whisked away from this plane. Uh, to a sanctuary that I have previously designated, the one on uh, Green Acres, in a similar spot with similar statues, and uh, must designate. Uh, yeah, no, and it works. It's instantaneous. So we all teleport and appear. And sure enough, the magic is successful and it whisks you out of danger and you find yourselves again at Green Acres. Uh, you hear the storm outside. Uh, it is somewhat peaceful compared to where you just were. And you find yourselves below the hill where you had cast this spell. I like my. Uh, I like to get the last word in with Makasa and be like, see, I told you, on my own terms. And then we just disappear. <laughs> Okay. okay. Hey guys, we made it. I gotta say, this spell works a lot better than that amulet. <laughs> a lot more consistent, I might say. The second that we are out of danger, <laughs> Wyman turns around to Reynold, drops his his sword to the ground, kneels down in front of him, and goes, "I'm so sorry. I'm Boy. so sorry, Light Carrier. I failed you." I was oh. supposed to protect you, and I fell. Hey, no hard feelings. You you died, man, and that's okay. It happens to everybody. But you're back now, I assume. Are you like... He just kind of pokes him. <laughs> Are you okay? I don't... I don't know. Why Are you like some you? weird abomination now? You're here in spirit like a ghost would be. When he tries to poke me, does it like goes like that. Like, <laughs> yeah. like notices immediately that he's not right. He starts trying to poke him. This, oh, time, this time we're not having no substance. Anything. That's concerning. 
I might not be here very long. I uh, think I'll be going. Uh, <laughs> did you How? serve? Who did you serve in life, Brave Wyman? Brahms asks. I serve the light. Shulker fleece. Yeah. Yes. He looks, up at the, he, look, he looks up to the sky and goes, ah, I'd love to see her again. The, the bird. It's right here. The bird, it's right there. In her glory, I mean. Do you want to rest or do you want to like stay here? I don't. I, I could don't try and ask a favor. That. It's a shot in the dark, but no. something, something could happen. I can send you to where you belong. I was rescued from death once before, and it caused me a lot of hardships. Hmm. I feel like today I died a hero, and I'm okay with that. Right. Yeah. Later, dude. Well, uh, I'll try and keep in touch with some sending spells, you know. Talk to everyone. It might not get through because it's like planes and stuff. But uh, yeah. I, I, hey, why would I tell you what? I'm if I'm making a holy book, you're going in it as a martyr. <laughs> and as Wyman waits to accept the warmth of sugar fleas in this afterlife that he's already experienced, if only briefly before, it does not come. And there is only the cold, harsh reality of the material plane. And Wyman is still here. He's standing there for an awkward amount of time, just like. Any time now. <laughs> give it, give it a minute. There's latency, you know. You gotta get, you gotta go through a couple of hoops. I, maybe I, I just. Mm. I so I, I walk back over and I poke his leg. Still Are seems you to be a ghost. Can you ca- can you? Can you carry a like a sword? Can you? Can you I turn around. And, I turn around and I and I try to poke Bezlock. <laughs> oh my goodness! Do I make Do I make purchase or does it? Yes, it still goes yes. Still? For some somehow you're able to poke Bezlock, but Bezlock can't poke you. Uh, I feel like you got an upgrade somehow. <laughs> can you do your blood magic stuff? Because you don't you don't have blood anymore. <laughs> Spirit blood. <laughs> yeah. he'll, he'll 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 draw his sword and 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 try to activate a, 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 a one of his crimson rites his uh right of the dawn why not you seem to have your abilities uh even in death um <clears throat> brahms says we um uh we must restore the light if you were to join her the same can... goes for all of the gods they have left us Oh. I'm All of the dead will wander. Magic. What's that? I'm about, to, I'm about to dispel magic on this ghost. He's freaking no, me out. No, don't do that. He's freaking <laughs> me out. No. <laughs> I was going to say, I can summon ghosts. Bezlock has like a little spray bottle with like, you know, cancel <laughs> magic spray, you know? Uh, <laughs> Would banishment DM. work for you? What's that? Uh, DM, I, I want to. This is a weird interaction, but I want to summon undead. One of the forms that I can summon is a ghost. Okay. Uh, I want to do that and see what happens. Um, Why would like, any disappears and near it is Easy to pull a ghost uh, to you. Yeah, we're we're in a graveyard, so yeah. you don't seem to be controlling Wyman though. Ooh, that would have been sick. It'd be funny if you cast it and Wyman just turned around and said, "Yo, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> you need something? I'm here." Uh, Most overpowered pet of all time. Yeah, Wyman, I can, <laughs> I can ask uh, Bahamut to like send you to rest. It has, uh, I would say, a one in ten chance of working. Bahamut has left this place. Well, it's. Well, that's why it won't probably won't work. But do you try to <laughs> do you try to do this, Reynold? Do you want this, Wyman? I mean, uh, I could talk. I to would you. never. I would never turn down the uh, aid of a god. 
maybe we shouldn't do it here. Maybe no, it's talk. hallowed maybe. ground. Of course it's, we should it's, do it here. It's hollow ground, baby. Oh, wait. This is hollow ground? Yeah, yeah. that's how we were able to eat oh, back here. Yeah, last... Uh, Reynold made this a sanctuary. Oh, of shit, sorts. you weren't. Yeah, that's right. You weren't here. You weren't here. Sorry. Oh, mm-hmm. and this is the perfect place. This is basically yeah. a temple. There, Theresa's is in the air. She's the rain now. She watches over Green Acres, and I made a sanctuary in like the demon pit where we first got the stone. <laughs> so I, I'm like, okay, uh, I'm gonna get down on my knees in front of this like magical campfire I made that's still shining bright light of flames, and I say, Bahamut. Shogar Fleece slash Julia. Um, if you would please help Wyman along his quest to get some rest in however, whatever form that may take, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. Love your favorite son. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm going to do, uh, since I, it takes an action and it's something you don't really want to do outside of combat. I'm going to do, um, it's not channel divinity. What is it? Oh God, oh, I'm, I'm floundering. I'm Divine floundering. Divine intervention. Divine intervention. That's what it is. And I have to roll a d100, and it has to be my spell level or my my or sorry my class level or below. So it has to be an 11 or lower than that. So it has a very low chance of it has working. Has 11 percent chance. <laughs> yes. Okay. <clears throat> Oof, so close. Wait, so, you get, it's the top end, right? Yeah, you know, eleven from the top. It's eighty-nine to one hundred. Right? <laughs> it was closest. So it was like super close. Oh, the, oh, gods, the, the gods are angry at me because I, I tried. <laughs> so, so Randall just kind of like sitting there for like a moment, and then like two, three. They put me on hold. I'm sorry. <sighs> Hey, I could do that every day, though, you know. But once I a couple days, I yeah. can add five to that roll. <laughs> I'm glad that, 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 brings it, that brings it back around, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Is that how it works? Um, yeah, yeah. That brings it to a two. two? <laughs> I'm glad that Wyman has joined us again, but there are so many others we left behind. Who said that, Brom? Yes. The, what the, are you uh, talking about, Bron? The skeleton the others, guys. The other dead. I thought we did this. I thought we killed the devil. Well, and we got well, the place now. We did well. What? Uh, there were other devils left. <clears throat> what does this staff um, do? Pacrawl, who is still here, is like, all right, so, uh, so what we do then? How do we, how do we... We're going we... back in tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we can defeat the evil that came there. Mordecai, you seem to know that creature. Yeah, what was that? He's a dick. What was that, Mordecai? He, he is someone who makes Shikan look like a child. Well, oh. Two oh. branding smites? Compared compared to him, <laughs> Yakan is nothing but a bratty child. No. Then probably no. Maybe we should count our blessings to speak. Don't mind me just healing. Believe me, we were lucky to get out of our lives. I'm inclined to to agree. Uh <laughs> I have one more Across request, like, though. Oh, I feel alright. <coughs> Blood. I know we have been through so much, but as a fallback, I thought if we could not kill Yakan, we would seal the stone with the magic that Therazessa developed in sealing the stone. But, of course, we defeated Yakan, but now this greater evil is inside. If we cannot I- defeat it, we should trap it in there. Oh yeah, yes. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. I got a can of gasoline. Why don't we just burn this castle to the ground? I well, like your I, way of thinking. If we trap them <laughs> in, cleanse there. it with holy fire. We're in a sanctuary. We got a campfire. Well, no wonder you get along with Mordecai. You, What's gasoline? 
Oh, it's like this cool liquid. It's it's great to smell. It like makes you feel great. Smell boo boo's like, butt. It's like fireball in a can. Oh yeah. god. It's for people that can't use magic, you know. That's what the oh. hole in Boo Boo's butt is for. You gotta fill them up, you know. <laughs> Just with gasoline. Well um keeper of the rod. That's you. Can you um use your magics to take us to the stone where it lies in the material plane? Uh, I must have it to seal it. Oh, the uh, true oh, palace of the frozen duke. About that, like the way my spell slots are set up with my savings and my checking. <laughs> uh, I mean, no. we could. There was only one guy left casting <laughs> when we left. It's probably going to take a little while. We could probably rest. I can take us back into this. Oh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So you weren't here last week. Last week I gave out everybody a cog ring. Um, and one of the things that I can imbue that cog ring with is a spell slot, an extra spell slot for you. Um, so uh, you right, have the ring, but it's not that imbued. One. Okay. But we have to is do that one a, up. Is that one a ring of uh, spell sorry? Yeah. I cannot use it because I've read that it was a uh, attunement. Attunement. I don't have the slots. It's. Uh, wait, hold up. Let me see. So we're on the material plane and we need to get to the stone. Where do we leave the stone? Fires attunement. Yep. The stone Guys. is in the palace of the frozen duke where we first entered, where I first fled the devil, Yakan. Oh. We have to go all the way. Oh. If you do not wish, I will go and take care of this matter myself. Oh, please. Yes, that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> I need only borrow <laughs> I need only borrow the amulet of the plains from you, Mordecai. I look at it. I look at the I look at the amulet that's saved my life so many times. Yeah, it's kind of a hard sell. Uh <laughs> so we're, we gotta go back then and weigh and weigh it against the weight of the life of every person in this world I think I think we know the right answer here hell no you can't have it <laughs> <laughs> we're keeping it <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do another aura vitality the, I think the weight of the world makes this more than fair trade I'm, I'm going to hand it to let me get five Rom. d5 of that yeah go ahead take that uh, i'm gonna roll well, that tops me off nice uh, i'm gonna get myself some too uh hey brahms you need any healing before you go um mordecai so you offer this to brahms uh i'm gonna hand it to him okay yeah and i'm going to say this is the only thing I can offer you. I will do my best to seal the stone. None of you then will be coming with me. Um, I mean, I still got some spells left. I mean, I have plenty. I, I'm yeah, full health with most. I got, I got health in Elder Class. Like, <laughs> hey, do, crawl, we you, to, do we want to just the crawl like, is, go the crawl is, is, is tucking his <laughs> eye back into his socket <laughs> here you take some help you're good right you're good right <laughs> yeah, yeah it is yeah. i'm giving the rest of this to per crawl so these so you get uh 25 please okay. be aware please be aware guys i really do not have any slots so it's all just flash from here. Well, you just took off your imbued item, right? Uh, like a, an attuned item. Oh, I did. All right. So bring your bring. Come over here, and I'll give you my one of the, my infusions. Does Proms. that require a short rest? Uh, this would have happened when we woke up that day, but you weren't there, so you would have asked for this then, and then just put it in your bag. Okay. Yeah, but I mean that's up to the DM. 
That's fine. Okay. So yeah, you have one. You have a spell reuse ring. Okay. okay. I'll uh, I'll I'll cast it in the thing so you know how to use it. Hold on. Uh, what do you guys intend to accompany um, Brahms? I feel like yeah, uh, we gone this far. Yeah. Are we going? I'm pretty much full health again. Anybody want to express that in character in a way that makes sense for their character? <laughs> what going oh. back? Yeah. I I gotta say, guys, we've been on this devil thing for so long. We might as well just finish it, right? We've gone so far. I mean, it feels to be like this is the only way I can uh, find my way to rest. I must claim my rightful throne. I mean, uh, we we have to save them. <laughs> raises an eyebrow. Okay. It's okay. I understand what you meant, Mordecai. Seriously, when you become no. like a devil lord, don't forget us. So I guess we're going. Yeah, all right. Might as well. So we I would allow the self refueling ring, except that Mordecai had already ready refused it on the grounds that he was full of attuned items. So. While it does make sense, uh, we would just go with the he had refused it, and in the future, you can use it. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah, that works. And I mean, honestly, if we wanted to be technical, I don't think it really would work for him because it, it refuels a, a spell of third level or lower, and he doesn't have third level spell slots. Oh, then I cannot use that. No. Okay. Well, there yeah, you I'd go. I have to see you look into that. That's interesting. An interesting Should... caveat. Uh... I have like third level spells, I don't have any third level slots. You said you don't have a magical uh, robe, though, right? I don't have a robe, and I could use like a thing that could just make me fly. Get this glass cannon some defense. I'm like, I'm really need. squishy. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, well, I I think it has to be armor, though. I don't think I can give plus two to a robe. Uh, let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Suit of probably not. Uh, suit Honestly, of armor or shield. Can you make me fly? No. Is there a thing? No. This is the one that you should probably take. Which one? That one. Give me a sec. Isn't that his rod keeper, though? Yeah, he yeah, just got, now he he has just a, got rod, a... a magical weapon, huh? Yeah, I already have one. Dude, I ain't got... I have two. I have, like... <laughs> I got one for Monday and Tuesday. I got nothing for you, then. I think uh, I'll be okay. I have a so I'll be fine. Bronze. My sharpener's pretty good. Can we like wait an hour and hang out for a little bit and then go so at least some of us have some stuff to use again? I'm or going this... immediately because <clears throat> as surely as Makazel entered swiftly, I'm sure he'll be exiting just as quickly. The more time that we tarry here, uh, the greater danger we are in. All right, that's let's go. That, that's Ooh, a good point. Yeah, he's just going to pop right out. That's two, good. Of, two of them are, two of those demons are banished right now for a little bit. So, actually, they they should be banished completely if they're not from that plane. Things work oh. a little bit differently um, in that regard, but it is that is solid reasoning. We must return. I'm healed up. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. go. Yeah, I'm back to full. Let's go. Come on, amulet master. I can't do my thing again, so we're going to rely on it. Through use of the amulet of the planes, you will go to another uh you know adjacent plane perhaps the ethereal plane and then you will teleport to the palace of the frozen duke on the material plane um as you can use the amulet as yep. many times as you like <clears throat> so we appear so, in space briefly and then we're gone we do have the resources and the faculties to uh cast your spell effectively twice as you wish um when you get to the palace of the frozen duke um, where you intended uh, you are there um, in the lobby and um, this will require uh, Brahms will begin chanting a ritual and you can either lend your aid through means of magic or religion so if you're trained in religion or arcana you can make a check of that kind hmm. and if you would like okay. to assist the ritual would he be more helped by a guidance or a religion check, do you feel? Oh, guidance would be a, a fine thing to do as well. Yeah. So I'll slap Brahms, him on that back. Give make sure to keep his eyes averted as the many colors of this uh, stone fill the room. A uh, winded with an 18. With an 18. Probably with yeah, 16. Both of them trained in religion. 
I'll I'll lend my strength as well. <laughs> and I'm gonna release hey. uh, I'm gonna release uh, Julia as a bonus action to sing her song in the background softly as we wreck the stone up. Okay. Oh, oh let me write a quick limerick. Wyman, Wyman takes a second to to close his eyes and just listen to the the song and enjoy it. And Brahms does sing, and at first he harmonizes with the song of the abyss that resonates from this stone, and then he changes the tune using the notes from the song to create something different. And uh, you feel a magical presence uh, absolved or. You feel it leave the room uh, as though a door has been shut and there is no more wind. Uh, but this door is a portal and now there is no more magic flowing through. And you all uh, do so successfully. And the measures that you took earlier in the stone before leaving <clears throat> to thwart the creatures that were summoning Makazel no doubt aided in your ability to seal this stone uh, so easily, so readily. And... Um, you have successfully done so and uh brahms explains you know this will be a prison for those things that we have not the power or the authority to destroy now if you wish you can add your signature and you may come and go of this as you please my signature is born on here already sure let me do i like take a quill and just like write it in there or um, it is more of a mental image that you impart as we close the ritual, Brahms explains. Oh, and I'm just going to cast 90 foot light and just uh, imagine the the light burning away the darkness and making it hide in a corner. Okay. All right. Does luck. Will you add your brand? <clears throat> I will. And I, as I'm adding it, I, I chant uh, a little poem. Uh, so I, I take out my, my cog uh, necklace with my, my family's uh, crest on it and you hear Bezlock mumble tie that presence to this plane away from danger in this castle profane get banished now get sealed away how? because Brom has the biggest of brains and then puts, uh, puts his, his thing uh, into the middle Beautifully said, Bezlock. A touch of poetry for those confined. Mordecai? I almost hesitate to ask. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mordecai. <laughs> okay, go, go, cool it a little bit. <laughs> You're going to see him concentrate, and as he does, a small bead of flame appears between his hands. And he's going to shoot that uh, into the gem engulfing it in a giant burning blast and that will leave my mark let them rest in fire then maybe that'll melt their frozen hearts damn that was cold Wymond <clears throat> I'm assuming um, yeah, Wyman, Wyman made the trip with them yeah yeah he's there Okay. Uh, Wyman will um, pull a small dagger out of his out of his uh, belt, um, cut a small cut into his hand, and and place that on on the stone. He won't he won't say a word during this process. He'll just quietly add his his own mark. What of you, Planeswalker, P. Crawl? Uh, yeah, um, oi, uh, I got, uh, <laughs> Left my a bit, a bit of, uh, um, <laughs> I got some, I don't know, I got, th you, you all did a thing, um, uh, yeah, what's your cool thing? You yeah, got cool, no, I got, you, you got like I a got line, thing, right? say? No, you I got, got a thing, right? wallet at home? I've got a, th no. Are you sure? <laughs> Isn't this like and your whole he... thing? <laughs> Isn't this what you're good at? Yes. This is yes, your job, right? Thing. I've never seen anybody do. You just smeared blood and 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 
What? Fire and what? You just make it a mess. Light it's not and necessary. poetry is a weird what? purgatory so, we're making. You know what you you know what you gotta do. You know what you do. Look, watch, watch. And he just touches it. <laughs> he doesn't do anything. He just touches it. That's boring. That's all you need. This, this is, is just this is the show. first thing that's happened like forever, yeah. right? According yeah, he to picks you. Up, he picks. He grabs some dirt and he like sprinkles it on top. Ooh, is that better? <laughs> I don't. I don't understand. You salt it's bays not, it. Just... You're pa you're patronizing me now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be patronizing. I just. I don't get it. I, it's fine. It's it's fine though. You do. You do it. It's, it looks, I it's guess like... dirt qualifies. You're like a, you're like a, forest guy, with Don't like that shit. teleport stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, forest guy. All right, sure. <laughs> so P crawl uh, does add his signature or not? Not as much. He does. He does. Okay. He just okay. he just wasn't he just wasn't being fancy about it. I see. I see. <laughs> Boring. I swear. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, uh, don't don't worry about it. It's fine. Uh, <clears throat> Between us, let us have an agreement, and we will put only those evils that we cannot defeat here, or those that deserve to suffer. In essentially, I think we have created an eternal torment of sorts. <laughs> <clears throat> We've made hell, everybody. Gonna listen Congratulations. To <laughs> well, Wait. if anything, hell is for the devils. This place will be called Gromsmoth. Mm. Confusing, <laughs> weird place with a labyrinth <laughs> with sunlight, poetry, fire. Imagine a, imagine a labyrinth that just burns you the whole time. <laughs> this it's place like a sucks. Labyrinth, <laughs> but it's on fire. <laughs> also, did we... Did we just create Gromsmoth? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, yes, we did. did. Canonically, this attention. is the creation of Gromsmoth. I love it. No wonder it's so messed up. <laughs> <laughs> we really did a number with this, this place. <laughs> entirely our fault. <laughs> um, and that's where we will end the adventure tonight. Um, uh, your Rod of the Pact Keeper is a plus two Rod of the Pact Keeper right now. <laughs> Nice. Um, and <clears throat> we can revisit this when the game begins next time because we are at kind of the end of our time here. Uh, but uh, I did want to drop a bit of information as well um, regarding Bezlock because you had come here initially looking for information. And uh, Bezlock does find some information. There are chests here on the material plane, uh, in the material plane version of the. Uh, Palace of the Frozen Duke. And in one of these chests, you know, as you pour through, there are other riches, which I will divulge in the uh, Discord. <clears throat> but you find something of interest. This is a list. Uh, a list of names of families, tribes, clans, small communities. And next to each, there are names of individuals. And Bezlock, you see your family name. Um, or the name of the place where you once resided, whichever would make more sense to that end. Yeah. Um, and next to that, you see your own name, and your name is circled. Ooh, ominous. And there's uh, not a lot of other information to glean from this. Um, certainly a list uh, of ill ends to some extent. But uh, nonetheless, the adventure will continue next time, and we'll be playing on the first Monday of the month is, or I'm sorry, the second Monday of the month is the uh, 13th? I think yes. we're looking at. <laughs> and that's, um, you know, 6 Pacific, or 610. And uh, as always, thanks everybody for hanging out. Um, and until next time, the adventure continues. Goodbye.